Okay, sorry. Uh, greetings, folks. More so I can. I, I forgot to hit the record button for this to be for my future VOD because no offense, the VOD quality on Twitch is shit. Um, so I was talking about uh, percentage, uh, talking about how there's a cabaret game and everything, and I did research, and it's 74 hours to do a complete 100% of this game. Now, I am not going to complete 100% this game. I have been doing research on the side games and mini games of this game. There are two, count them, two, I ain't doing. Because they make me very uncomfortable from the descriptions. One, technically you've all seen, the toilet one. Ugh. And the other one involves taking photos of girls and it's real life people, not polygons. So, need I say more? Yeah, I it, see. it's very uncomfortable. I saw, like, yeah. I watched a couple clips of it, and I'm like, I'm uncomfortable. So, I'm fine flirting and exploiting Kiryu shirtless, but when you actually put real people in it, I'm like, I don't feel comfortable doing this. Especially when you definitely know what it's like in Japan, and you know the uh, treatment of the uh, female actresses in Japan, and how little they get paid, and the harassment. Mm. And they're forced to be this pure little being when they can't have fun with no, or automity with their body. Anyway, we're not going to get political right now. Let's get over yeah. to Yakuza, shall we? Shall we? Yes. Shall we? Shall we? Let's, let's, so let's avoid... you're saying we're skipping those sections, right? Yes, they're never happening. Will Yay. I be doing the cabaret? So will I be doing the uh, cabaret uh, thing? Yes, because it actually looks really fun, and I still remember the cabaret hand signals. So it's like, well, I can't remove them from my brain. Because I was doing research, and I was like, okay, these are the symbols for the cabaret thing, looking like I'm a Naruto doing a jutsu up in here. And <laughs> I'm like, oh, it's the same ones in Kiwami too. So we'll be good. Anyway, let's go. Ado. There we go. Oh, also, cat, unmute the game. Turn the volume down on the game. There's no offense, game. You get a little loud. I need to get a special audio splitter program thingy for OBS, but I am lazy. Uh, Survivor, could you talk for a bit? Survivor? Did my internet die? Or did Survivor's internet die? I was I'm gonna just move you a little closer and put you over here. There we go. Anyway, Survivor? Hello? Okay, Survivor's not here. He's dead. We will make his skull look adorable. But he doesn't have a skull. Anyway, let's get going on this. Alright. We can do this. I believe in me. The sugar did not get stirred enough in the tea. It is hurting me so. Sorry about that. My kettle was going off. Also baggage. So what was that about tea? I did. My sugar hasn't been fully uh, integrated into the tea. Ah, so it's got that saltiness. No, that's all this, but I kind of like that texture. Grain, yes. Grain, yes. There you go. There's the word I'm looking for. Sorry, I'm right now just doing some volume adjustments. So the audience can not only hear me, they can hear you. Yay. I, I need to get an audio splitter thing, but... Okay, according to this, I need to kill some time to... Because, uh, context, a woman who was with us got shot. We dropped her off there, who's and she's getting taken care of. Now I have to entertain myself for a while. And look who's right in front of me. Did Majima? No, it's not my oh. husband. Darn. I'm sorry. Sexy pub, sexy pub prison. What's a sexy pub prison? I have questions, and I don't like. I don't want to know the answers. <laughs> you have questions. Is it a prison? Is it a pub? Is it? How is it a sexy prison pub? Even my mother just pop walked in, giving me the eyebrow. Mom, this is video games. Yeah, I know. Hi, mom. All right. <laughs> 
Ah yes, Valentine's Day. Yeah, that wasn't even one of my best. Hey, it's Diago. Uh. We're okay for now. Chairman Goda's with me. We're heading towards Komotro by the car. Good. How are you holding up, though? I'll make it through. I'm built like a truck. Oh, you're not built like a truck. Okay. Okay, let's go later. All right. So, phone calls happened. I beat up some thugs. I did a phone call. We will now admire the beauty of Sh Shatamburi. <gasps> Look at the kitty! Look at the kitty! Wait for, wait for you to catch up. Oh, wait, hold on. I can do this in first ah. person. I forgot about that. Look at that kitty! I want to go in this restaurant. Can I go in this place? 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 You're, a you're asking me like I'm going to stop you. What? I am. Like, no, no. Go in. <laughs> what the heck is I'm this? I'm here to encourage. <sighs> I'm here to encourage nonsense. I'm sorry, you know her measurements? That's a little creepy. <laughs> That's a... Uh, mm, that, I know... Yeah, that, that is very creepy. I know in Japan they like to do the chest size thing, and I did a, I, I did giggle when Dangarampa did it for both boys and girls, and it made me giggle a little like, ha <laughs> equality. But still, it's very uncomfortable. Yeah. Like, don't know your girl's measurements. Like, if it's a bit she's doing, maybe, but still. It's just like... Welcome I mean, to... Welcome to Cat is going to be very uncomfortable with a lot of things, apparently. I would say it's like, if you're in a relationship, you know the measurements, only because... You're buying outfits for her. Yeah. You know, personal things. Intimate things. That's intimate knowledge. Why do you have this ran at random? Also, why are you telling people this? Uh. Ugh. She's now napping. Okay, now I have to pick up shit. When do I get to do side missions? I know, I'm supposed to get to do the fun shit at chapter 5, and I'm sitting here going... I, I get to do the fun shit at chapter 5, by the way. Which chap we're at chapter 5, I assume, right? No, we're in chapter 4. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. We'll get there. I did. I did hear last time there was a Sega place here, so I can only assume. What? That cat has been in the Sega place? Well, no, I can only assume they have Outrun, which we would not be playing. No, it doesn't have Outrun this time. It has. Uh, it has. Hold on, let me. No, I don't want to buy anything. There's nothing here I want to buy. Oh no, correction, there is one thing I want to buy, but <laughs> that's definitely late game. Uh, I'll, I'll actually show you the Sega place if you want. Uh, the games, if I remember, it has... Uh, it has the claw machine, which we won one, we won one plushie in. Okay. I need to buy bandages. Who cares? Um, that small burger has our stomach cooking. Oh, we need to eat food. You get experience eating food. I don't know why we're doing. Well, I'm assuming that does it does count as trying new things, getting experience, but also why? All right, are you saying we could cheese the system by just eating? Mm-hmm. I think it. Yep. And if you do certain food combinations, get even more experience. And I already know the food combination for Sir, for Smile Burger. Oh my God. Which is called the Smile King, which is the burgers, fries, and shake. And also the calorie combo, which is just eat the highest calorie things with the salad. 
There's gotta be a downside. They can't just simply put a food eating experience based mechanic. <laughs> but there being a downside. Yeah, it's called it cost me a lot of money and my stomach hit. Okay, so I'll explain it to you. Do you see that little weird thing that looks like a stomach? Yes. I can only get so full. Okay. So you can't just binge. I can't just go crazy binging, no. Um, basically, my when my stomach is empty, I can go crazy ho ho whole hog on eating again as well. I see. See? There's a method. So, good question. What styles do we know? Uh, oh, there's no style. It's all one style now. Yeah, welcome to the upgraded system now. We are in Kiwami 2. We have an upgraded battle system, which is a little less crazy. Actually, it's a little bit more streamlined. In my opinion. Go on. Ah, yes. Ooh, there's an ability called Essence of Sadism. Which basically means I get to be sadistic on someone. Nice. I mean, nice. I mean, yes. <clears throat> so basically, I've now discovered this. Uh, you become friends with people and, you know, get become allies with people. You can basically get special abilities. That's nice. I'm learning shit. There's a lot of new mechanics as well as a lot of old mechanics. But, you know, it's just a mixy baggy of mixiness. But it's pretty good. I'm so far liking it. I hate that the my controller constantly vibrates. Yes. Sure. Hold up. Hold on. I think you can go touching my um, babe without getting... Are you talking about your car, which looks like it's from the 1990s? What's the, what's the 80s, 90s now? Uh, we are in 2006 in the game. Okay, so that's not so bad. So break out all the Shrek memes. Somebody wants... No, we could go up to Shrek 2 in memes. Shrek 2. Do you know how hard it is for me not to start singing I Need a Hero while playing this game? <laughs> uh, who the fuck is Kathy? Is it your car? Who? That car. That. I'm not an expert when it comes to cars. I will admit to that. But I've watched enough Top Gear to know some things. And you consider this a top qual- I mean, it'd be a really great car if you had a family. Oh, he's one of these assholes. Oh. He's talking to his car. Survivor, he's talking to his car. And he calls himself Big Daddy to his car. Survivor, help me! Ah. Oh. oh. I need therapy. This man talking about his car. This guy, not only he ca he calls himself Big Daddy. Oh. I'm pretty sure it's compensating or something. Don't worry, he won't have in a while. Just a second. Give me a second. <coughs> fling the people! Fling the people! Where did I get back? You know how freaking Captain Jack Harkness has a random gun in his back pocket and even though he doesn't wear pants? Same pocket dimension. Ah. It's like the pocket dimension where my beans come out of. I asked the beans. The wonderful beans. That man has a sword, I think. That's a katana, yes. Where the fuck he's getting a katana is beyond me. Can you imagine? Hey guys! Plant! Oh, 
Oh, it's bat. Oh, look, my favorite toy. I call my bat Majima. <laughs> Somebody call an ambulance. I am begging ya. That's Ooh, you gave me 20,000 yen. I can buy a shoe. One shoe. <laughs> a singular shoe. I don't know. Actually, I could buy two shoes. He's talking to his car again. Is this a reference to Christine? And or that weird documentary about guys who are very, um, attracted to vehicles? That's the, that's the nice way to say it. I mean, I know some men who are into their cars, but even then, that's the that's that's that the di da di da da da. Okay, let's just go. Let's just keep going this way. We are running. We are running. Running, running, running. Running, running, running. We're running over here. Oh, a takoyaki booth! Can I buy in the takoyaki booth, sir? Can I buy your takoyaki? Oh, I can't buy his takoyaki. I'm sad. No, no not that for you. No. <laughs> not from this one. We're going to Kanto. Yeah, you wanna know why everyone's all excited about Kanto? They have Pokemon there. Their, their Yakuza is the Squirtle Squad. <laughs> yes, I heard. <laughs> oh, you saw that they bit, huh? Yes, I was I was commenting on. Well, do I need to go stop by the sunglasses hut? Yes. Wow, sunglasses hut. You're fancy. We just buy our yeah. shit from dollar store. Oi, oi. I mean, I assume sunglasses hut doesn't sell the fancy round glasses in the. Uh... I don't. Know, how would you refer main squirrels glasses? The main squirrels and squirrel squads were rounders. Rounders. We're round glasses. Sunglasses. Except for one. One had the. Uh, the classic and Garen Logan. Yeah, the Garen Logan. <laughs> Oh, I've seen weirder, I'm just saying. Listen, I want to own a pair of those freaking glasses that uh, uh, Crowley wears in What We Do in the Shadows. And not because of what we- not what we do in the shadows, uh, oh, the the B I E uh, not or what we do in the shadows, uh, good, uh, good Omens. And not because I'm sitting here being a fan of David Tennant, I'm doing wanting them because- and this is the most geekiest reason ever, I'm sitting here going, Hey, maybe that will actually protect my eyes from the side, because- I live in Florida, it's very bright here. Please yeah. help me. Save me. The pocket dimension can only stop so much light. I have to leave the pocket dimension on occasion, you know. Gotta make the poops. Nah. Uh, I love how you just live in pocket dimension just to avoid the sun. I mean, you would too if you lived in Florida. <laughs> it's like, That's fair. So how do you get in this weird Eldrick this little pocket dimension? Live in Florida, go to the Denny's at midnight, make sure you have at least one guy fighting with shoes and one guy using a shirt as a weapon. You'll understand. Uh, Alright, it, it just, it will make sense later, don't worry about it. Yeah, it's the joke in my D&D group, I go, you're at a Denny. At e when I did Curse of Strahd, the way they got to Curse of Strahd was the uh, quote-unquote fog technique, which was like that weird fog teleportation bullshit. And they oh, go- yeah, from Sound Hill? Yeah. Yeah. It's a thing you can do for Mer to get to the p uh, players into uh, Barovia, if you don't want to make them from Barovia, which is smart, by the way. I go, well, you're at a Denny. Uh, instead of doing the tavern, I said, you guys are at a local Denny's, because I thought a tavern wasn't weird enough. And then they all go, how do we know we're at a Denny's? I go, there are two people fighting in the parking lot, one's using his shirt as a weapon, the other guy's using his shoes tied together as nunchucks. Ah, oh, that Denny's! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I've never uh, been to a Denny's, but now, it, honestly, it sounds like everyone I know. No, no, no. It's not any type of Denny's. It's a Florida Denny's. <laughs> Florida Denny's do those. And then, the, uh, and then who was my, the guy who was my current DM. His character basically wanted to go to this Denny's because he's trying to find his son who got kidnapped by vampires. Which is the Barovia thing. And he did some, like, weird, crazy conspiracy theory wall and he goes okay if I go to this exact Denny's on the full moon during this phase and that star sign I should be able to get you the fog that takes me to Barovia he basically crazied himself to get there oh. 
to be fair, it's like, okay, why do you want to go to Barovia? Nobody wants to go to Barovia. Barovians, Barovians don't want to be in Barovia. Barovias have no feelings. Except for, like, certain people in Barovia. Everyone else in Barovia, minus, like, the Visanti, Vladimir, Vladimir's brother, Vladimir's dad who's dead, like, a couple other people, they're just mindless zombies. They have no soul. They have no spark. They have no nothing. They're depression. Yeah. It might have some of the fact that they're in the shadow, the shadow fell. Well, they're not in the shadow fell. They're in this. They're in a demi plate of dread. And I'm sorry if you go to a or place called the. I'm sorry if you're in a place called the demi plate of dread. It's gonna be boring. It's drab mm -hmm. or decay. That's that's literally your options. <laughs> I'm very worried about you, old man. I'm being polite. He has two girls. This man. Are you supposed to be like Hugh Hefner? Because you're not wearing the smoking jacket. Yeah. Wow, also, and he just gave me 1,000 yen for asking him if he was okay after I bumped into him. I was just being polite. Yeah. This man might be a human rep rep off or just a, or just a casual figure daddy. Just, just saying that I, right now. Oh, he just gave me 100,000 yen. Yeah, he's a sugar daddy. Hey, uh, pushes Kiryu you away. So until I find Majima, do you want to support me? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I get, I get a lot of hospital bills. I need to be, I need to be able to pay them. No, no, Japan doesn't really have the whole major hospital bill oh, issue. Right. God damn their insurance. Mm, yeah, I forgot. Uh, compensation bumping into you, so generous. Real philanthropist. See, just take it. Makes me look like it looks good to the arm candy. The arm candy, who are actually kind of dressed decently, who I don't mind. I mean, I don't like the pink outfit. I think the belt is a little too much. Cat, what would we talk about about con talking about interior design and fashion? We talked about this. We did. I mean, did, did we talk about not doing it, or did we talk about ha discussing it over and over again? Because I'm all about discussing it over and over again. <laughs> Some people have terrible taste. Yeah. Well, the thing is, it's like 2006 fashion. You would think because I was a teenager in 2006, I would actually be a lot more knowledgeable than I was of the 80s fashion and like be able to comment it on it more and be like yeah I would like this I'm sitting here going even 2000s and uh, 2000s fashion I hate it <laughs> hey. because remember kids the low-rise jean was a thing low-rise jean and thong was the combination they expect teenage girls to wear this yeah no so when I found out low-rise jeans were coming back I go no do not make these women suffer again please no girls 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 I'm gonna save you now. Men's department. We have pockets. Yeah. I, honestly, it's the thing that annoys me every time it comes up. It just, just give people, just give women pockets. Is there really a problem with this? Is there really? Just, who's against this? So there's a theory that back in the day, we're talking the olden days, the Victorian era, if not Victorian era, if we would. Women had pockets, very good pockets in their clothing. You could practically hold a switch in there. And they would carry, like, their knitting and shit, like, in those pockets. And, like, uh, hat pins. You know, straight pins, hat pins, stuff like that in their pockets. Because men, and I'm talking a certain type of men, not men in general, mm -hmm. would, un yeah. would unsolicitedly flirt with them or mess with them. Especially women who were just recently divorced, just recently widowed. Because, you know, they're widowed. Don't have to worry about all that romantic shit now, right? They've done the deed. They don't need to be treated like an actual person or anything. I would like to point out I am eye rolling right now. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm just. <laughs> you can feel it. Um, I can feel the eye roll. So women used to carry pins in their pockets, and we're not talking clicky type righty pins. We're talking hate straight pins, hat pins, those kind of things. And would stab men with them <laughs> to be like, back the fuck off. This was before pepper spray was invented. Yeah. So I'm like, yeah. So I'm guessing someone basically made pockets a little less usable and smaller and smaller and smaller so that women couldn't carry things that could basically make men leave you alone. I have a funny feeling it's all sexism. It's 90% sexism. Yeah, I mean, I also want to point out, since we're talking Victorian era, I guess who also lived in the Victorian, towards the end of the Victorian era. Who? Mr. It was, he goes by the first name Jack, last name Ripper. <laughs> and there's a reason why there's so many things about like, oh, always carry a book. Why? Because it gives you something to read, something to join the train, and if necessary, a weapon. Like, Jesus yeah. Christ. It's like... Ooh. Ooh. Right. Oh my god, this old man plays Virtual Fighter. 
Oh, and he's like, if you beat me, I'll let you get. I'll give you some spending money. Hey, sir, are you single? I'm still looking for Kiri. I'm still looking for my husband, Majima. But I think he'll be okay if I hang out with a guy to get money from him. <laughs> I mean, it's Virtual Fighter. It's. It's virtual. No, it's not even Virtual Fighter. It's Virtual Fighter Two. That's what's in this game. Virtual Fighter Two. I I I remember playing the original Virtual Fighter, and funny I'll... enough, I was in a scenario where, uh, well, not like this, but just a matter of. Okay, let me put the story this way. Once upon a time, I was in Vegas. Da and, uh, da me, and my me and my brother, we were kids. We were just kind of hanging around the arcade. And we, it was during a tech convention. So apparently what what uh, computer geeks like to do is go to the arcades and just play the crap out of them. They don't really gamble. They, don't, they know the odds. They don't really oh, yeah. do much other than eat and play the arcade games. Yeah. Unfortunately, the, they, they, you don't really, as an adult, have much to do with the tickets. Because who cares about prizes? It's all oh, about yeah. the game. So they see me and my brother and say, hey, who? And I say, I see uh, this, this older gentleman, and and, and I, I can only assume with their significant other, decide, let's give these kids all our tickets. Why? I don't know. Just good. Your, your kids, you like tickets? You like prizes? Here, have tickets. It was at least okay. 200 tickets worth of, uh, like it was a significant amount. Which. And then the problem is this kept happening like two or three times. Did you at least buy the good shit? No, we kept trying to cash out so we can go back to our rooms and rest for the night. So I ended up coming back with a. Uh, oddly enough, this was the early 2000s, so I came back with an entire huge bag full of army men from the individual tickets we, we kept getting. <laughs> Not enough to actually afford any of the good stuff. And one Shrek toy. Was it a nice Shrek toy? Eh, it was decent. No, uh, so I don't remember oh if you God. know this. When I was a, that was a teenager. My mom used to work at an arcade. That was pra and I used to be there a lot after school and stuff. My mom would pick me up from the arcade and be like, "Here's, here's the back room. It's soundproof. Do your homework. If you do well, da 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 da." The uh, owners of the arcade were. It wasn't like one of those franchise arcades. It was a mom and pop one, which was nice. They're so, it was so nice. They would be like, so "Okay, how did you do on your test last week?" I go, here's my test, and they would give me coins to represent how good- Give me tokens to represent how well I did on a test! Yay, positive reinforcement. It was great positive reinforcement, do that more. Um... Okay, there's food here. Where is the- What's over here? Oh, there's an elevator! What's in this elevator? Also, the karaoke sucks in this game. I don't like any yeah. of the music in the karaoke. Like that one that sounds like a metal song is pretty good, but that about it. That that about it. That about it. Yeah, I heard. Uh, hey, before we continue, I'm gonna grab my I'm gonna grab some more tea. I'll be right back. All right, I will watch sandwiches. Oh, it's the dark game. Okay, so this is darts. That's food. Talk. <clears throat> You okay? My head. Itching like a mofo. That's what happens when you don't bathe for a month. Ew! Probably not healthy. Uh. Oh. Anyways, hard to get you all to do your business about it. My name's Minazawa. I hear you. Listen, Kiryu-san, me and an old buddy of mine used to be a part of a knee slapping comedy duo. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, it's a comedy bit. Thought you heard of us, though. The act never got off the ground. Comedy style was called Manzi, where I played the funny guy and my bud was the straight man. Oh, fucking hell. Not those kind of comedy duos. Uh. Yeah, never heard of you. Well, the reason I'm so down in it is the Grand Prix of Gags is... On the corner of my buddy and I quit the other day. Maybe the cops wheeled him off. Guy had more porn had more porn stinking up his place than every sex shop in town. There's a sex shop in town? I'm sorry. I came, I came back at an interesting time. What? Context. He was part of a comedy duo. He was the funny man. Other guy was the straight man. Not it wasn't that good. And they're going to they wanted to enter this comedy thing, and now the guy has been a guy is missing, and now cops 
for all he knows, the cops wheeled him off saying because of all the porn he has in his place. I sit here going, is pornography illegal in Japan? I have no idea. Also, the fact that it, it makes me want to think, did you have so much of, did you have so much smut in your apartment? Sir, it's 2006. Cop, we had to stop and pause. It's sir. like, this has to be some sort of crime. Sir, 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 sir. Grabs you. Uh, don't grab them. 2006. Flash drives were a thing. Compact discs were a thing. Eh? Hell, floppy disks were still used. I used a floppy disk when I was in high school. I had to use three for a whole report. Um, could have stashed it on there. Just saying. The internet was made. For porn. Look, I'm, I'm not. I'm not commenting on how people should store their uh, prawns. The their I prawns. am just saying though. Always put some place you could easily destroy it if necessary. Why do you think I have a message towards my friends going, if I die suspiciously, unless you think it might be leading to towards my quote unquote murder, destroy my hard destroy my hard drive, <laughs> or keep my so hard I drive. I don't care. Make sure my mom doesn't touch it. <laughs> I'm more. I'm more of the opinion that uh, you put it on a. Key you put it on a key, you, sh you show no one, and you leave with them. You leave a note that says, "If please go, please go to such and such place, find drive labeled A, <laughs> destroy it immediately." Exactly. This, this is not this is not to be argued with. Do not. I do like also. <laughs> also, I, I also like to point out, as an IT engineer who regularly has to run into this, stop naming your private files private. I name my porn files the not my porn folder the not porn folder because of a horrible horrible habit I have. I also, but the funny thing is, I do a folder within a folder within a folder, but there's a, each folder has a set of folders, so it's like a maze you have to go through. Yeah, no. I, I've seen that too, but yeah, that's at least obfuscation still important. Yeah. Anyway, that's been a PSA. Moving on. Moving on. No more porn. Uh, uh, that's gross, oh. man. Or maybe aliens beamed him down, messing with his brain. Probed him real good, if you know what I mean. Oh, do you want to know why you didn't do that well? Your humor's even lower than bl than blue collar, and trust me, blue blue humor's pretty low. Oh, these are jokes. Yeah, even here. <laughs> Excuse me, I need to screen grab this so I can use it as a response for whenever I have to deal with people who think they're funny when they're not. Ah, <laughs> uh, that that play face like these are jokes? I guess. I, just, I mean, it's not, it's not quite, uh, it's not quite the fitting your sister's honor on top of a, uh, water tower. <laughs> power, which, it's redneck humor, it's definitely blue humor. Yeah. Oh, no, it's my... also still kind of funny. Yeah. This is not funny. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, I like to use that for, uh, I like to do this thing where people do, a, when one guy did the sexist joke, I just played dumbass and went, I don't get it, could you explain the joke to me? What? Honestly, it, it's honestly the best way to do it because nothing kills a joke faster than explain the joke. Exactly. I just played dumb idiot. <laughs> Which then when other girls saw that, they're like, you do that when you think the joke's not funny? Yeah, it makes them leave you alone for a while. <laughs> also, dating tip I've recently learned if you're going out into the bar scene to go rom get romantic. Or, you know, to find partners. Instead of when they ask to buy you a drink, don't a ask for a drink, alcohol or not. Ask them for nachos, or fried pickles, or whatever your go-to bar snack is. Something non-alcoholic, basically. And if they actually stay and share with you, and actually want to stay, you know, hang out with you, that means they're actually interested in it, and it's not just for your body, you know what I mean? This has been dating advice from the perpetually single woman. I mean, it's also good advice. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and to be honest, free food. <laughs> yeah, at the very least, free food. Mm. There's the, uh... There's, There's the college answer response. The what answer? Yeah, you you should change careers. But we're going to be nice and hopeful. I just need a new straight man for my act. What do you say, Kiryu-san? How about partner up with me? Not in a thousand years. Oh, Kiryu was like, now that's a good joke. Yeah. Joke, yeah. Anyway, thanks for hearing me out. I'll stick around. Good luck in the Grand Prix. Thanks. Ugh. Okay. So in this bar, we have darts. And I do love playing darts, but I promised someone, a certain little someone who's currently in this, in this voice call, hi, Survivor, um, Hello. to go to the Sega store. So we're going to the Sega store. Also, no, I have I haven't no. been to a bar in a while. No, I haven't even gone to a bar even pre-COVID. Oh, I think I went to. I went to. Yeah, I went to a couple bars when I was bar hopping with my brother for, uh, for uh, his bachelor bachelor party. Yeah, I don't, there's, I mean, there is 
There is a couple of bars. One of them calls a saloon, which is already a ba It calls itself a saloon and has certain flags in front of it. <clears throat> you know. You know. The flags. The bad kind. That are popular down here in the south. Oh, those... Those kind like, of bars. Yeah, and I'm like, yeah, not going. And, like, the idea of me going to a bar due to my audio sensory and my visual sensory and all that shit because of the lovely autism, I sit here going, that sounds like a nightmare. Karaoke bars are fun. Yeah. Although I oh. do love it. I was like, hey, Mom, I want to go to this thing after the convention. She goes, what is it? It's a dance party thing. And Mom goes, okay, honey, do you remember what happened when you went to prom? I go... I really hated the music, I really hated the people, but I might like the music and the people. There's also most likely bright strobing lights and loud noise, loud music that's so heavy on the bass it makes your ears bleed. Oh yeah. <laughs> but I get to socialize with like-minded people. My mom knows me better than I sh she should. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, we're supposed to fight a thug. Uh, uh-huh. Honestly, it just sounds like your mom's just trying to... <laughs> protect you from uh disappointment. Uh, yeah, especially because it's a third I think it's like a twenty dollar surcharge to get in. Uh, excuse me? It was a convention it was a convention party. Oh okay, you know, that makes being sense. being yeah. done by the convention, yeah. Mm, that explains it. Okay. See, we're fighting goons again. Eh? Also, hi, Zephron. Hi, Zeph. I guess I haven't mentioned that. No, we haven't found my husband yet. We're an hour in, still no husband. Oh, it's your partner in crime. Nelson, don't worry, Bung Moo. You're not the only one who's very antisocial. Yeah. Sometimes people are overrated. Just saying. I, I agree with that, and yet I stream. Boy. Boy. It's honestly why I, every time I see uh, the whole joke about, <laughs> hey, extroverts. Yeah. Or, extroverts in a social environment. Yes, they're social butterflies. Extroverts see an introvert. I must immediately make this person be social. Like, why? Stop, stop that. <laughs> No, I've had extroverts who've tried to adopt me and be like, listen, we're going to adopt you. Why? Well, not actually adopt me, but you know what I mean. Take me in and be like, you're our little friend. I'm like, you are treating me like a pet. I don't like this. Yeah, that's my point. <laughs> I don't care for that. Respect now, if you're an extrovert who happens to respect the wishes of an introvert, thank you. Yeah. Or like extroverts, if you want to basically notice your introvert is having an issue with dealing with these people, distract them from them. Do a dance. Break out the Macarena. Hey. Oh, oh. Drama. We're not paying attention to because it's blue collar. God. After I quit, I found myself sipping iced tea in a manga cafe. Why do I relate to this so often as I say sipping my iced tea? <laughs> this is nice and quiet and personal, not like whatever that person is. Trying to find the meaning in my life. Is. Yeah. Hand them a Game Boy with games. Ice tea and manga? The hell's gotten into you? So I read this epic story about a, this manly Yakuza. Hey, Kiri, I didn't know your life was in manga. Can I read it? <laughs> <laughs> I, I hardly I hardly think that's actually oh <laughs> I was gonna say it's the what's the one uh, do you know the manga that's basically uh, stories of the house husband former yakuza is now a house husband to the sweet young woman that I have not heard of tell me more uh it's basically former it is so cute because he's basically trying to transition out of yakuza life to you know house husbandry and it's so yeah. good it's like there's this whole bit where he's shopping for flour, and he's like, is this the good stuff? Is this the pure white stuff? And it sounds like he's doing a drug deal when he, all he's doing is shopping for flour. And, like, everything about him is, like, very Yakuza-y, and, like, but he's a really great husband because he keeps preventing his wife from doing unneeded purchases because they're right now on a budget. <laughs> and it's just like, 
And everyone's thinking that this tweet, this girl who's a sweet, lovable airhead, she's me, um, basically is like being able to quote unquote control a Yakuza. Reality, he just, you know, likes her and gives a shit and wants to the best for her. He just want, yeah, he doesn't want to manage her. He wants to just, you know, you know, it kind of keep keep her under keep her under budget so that way they don't just lose them lose all everything they have. At the same time, though, it's like he's not doing it out of. I said, there's a difference between control and respect. Yeah, he respect implies, look, we ha we all have problems. Let's work together so it doesn't drown us and don't drown in debt. Then there's, I you have to wear this shirt because I tell you to, or you I have to wear this specific outfit. You have to wear this sweater because I don't want anyone seeing your tchotchkes. It's like, but but what? Do you want maybe look? Do you want to embarrass me at my fun at my function? Don't do it. <laughs> Just do what I say. Like, yeah, there, there's a there's a an obvious line. It's very important to know where the line is. Red line. Yeah. yeah. Or once if he's like, or she's like, she dresses in this one outfit, but he knows that she wants to wear the other outfit, but she's putting on this outfit because she thinks it might be more appropriate. And he goes, honey, you don't look that comfortable. Wear this other outfit. You love this one more. Wear the bright yeah. pink dress. <laughs> but we're going to your boss's funeral. Ex-boss. So <laughs> they are no longer my boss. They're dead. <laughs> Please be extravagant. We'll have something to talk about. I also, I also have to point out there's, uh, it's, it's, it's an old, uh, King, King of Queens joke about how, um, the wife is trying, is trying to find an outfit, a nice outfit that doesn't remind, that, that looks good with her, but at the same time doesn't remind her husband of, uh, sports, <laughs> or sport uh, ball. Yeah. I feel like, I, I get that, but at the same time, though, there are a lot of, a lot of color, color combinations that's going to do that. Just find something that you're co oh. comfortable with, that he's willing to talk about. Yeah. There's... There's a, there's some points you have to make you have to compromise. Yeah, like I know there's like some people who have horrible I, I have horrible issues with my high school and I know some ways that some people cope is to avoid the co the combinations of of schools that they have that are connected to bad memories in school and all that jazz. I can't yeah. do that. You want to know why? The school colors of my high school were orange and black. Do you know what's the most common color for my favorite hol color combination for my favorite holiday? Orange and black. Yeah, so I can't avoid it. I'm mm -hmm. just like yeah. I just associate orange and black not with my high school, but with, you know, my hap yeah. Halloween, my favorite holiday. Although, technically, it's not also it's not just orange and black. That's, like, the main school colors. And then there's also the tartan colors, which are, if I remember this correctly, because my grandma used to have to make work on the tartans for the Highland dance team. It was mainly yellow and black, but there was also red and white. I think it was a, uh, there's a term for that tartan, but I can't remember off the top of my head. But yeah, color association is... It's a, it's a pain like that. Yeah, it's like I hate the... It's like some people... When I was much... When I was in my angry teens to late 20s, I hated the color pink because I was... I associated with bad times because... I'm a girl. Do I have to really explain it? <laughs> <laughs> Do I have to explain why I didn't like the color of pink for a while? Because no, it was... not really. Because it was always pushed in my fucking face. And it was just like, you know... Mm. I mean, I don't... I'm not saying pink's my favorite color. I'm just saying I don't mind it as much anymore. You yeah, know? and I said that I, I can understand because I think um, what was it Star Wars: The Force of You actually had a really good scene bringing it up. Like the, the golf chick, they point out that she actually likes the color. Uh, true, uh, true or dare? That we actually point out she likes the color pink. She just doesn't like the associations are of constantly being shoved in her face about it. Yeah, like because for like girls, it's like all these different shades of pink are available for you. This item, which is a quote unquote, li like okay, do you want to know one the thing that pisses me off? Nerf came out with a set, set of weapons which was for girls, which was like a bow and arrow set, a smaller gun, which I jokingly called the Nerf Derringer. <laughs> and it's like, and it was like, it was the quote unquote girl Nerf do toys. And I'm sitting here going, why? And they're pink and purple. And I'm like, why did they make a girl version of Nerf? Nerf is gender neutral. Last time I checked, guns were gender neutral. I used to be yeah, one of the I used to be one of the best nerf, fight nerf fighters on my freaking uh, neighborhood when I, you know, back then played with the nerf or nothing. Hey. I was one of the best ones who actually also did well with water guns when I used to have su super soakers. I was really good at that. I was the best one in the neighborhood. And I was the girl. Yeah, but cat. Mm. 
Okay, trying to hold the phone. We just got back together. Yeah, and I'm regretting life choices. Oh, they're doing a comedy bit and I'm not even enjoying it. I'm supposed to be pay la paying attention to this. I'm just not. I'm horrible. Here's that. It's just not a good comedy bit. It's not. It's them basically insulting the- I don't mind comedy duos that are insulting each other, but it's only good when it's a good back and forth. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's a playful- it's a playful banter. And you can- rather than, uh... Yeah, and you can tell it's playful, and you can tell that it's not them being insulting. Like, you know, I, I really hate the husband-wife duos that hate each other, you know, insult each other, like... Yeah. One, that's also because it's a very... Sexist. Tired and, it's yeah. sexist, but it's also very tired and old, even if it wasn't. Yeah. Uh, where... Like, it's, it's been done to death. <laughs> death is a nice way to say it. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go this Yeah, it way. still happens. Anywho, yeah. uh... But yeah, but there are... When it's comedy bits that aren't that much malice, I'm like, I do playful jabbing banter all the time. Ask, ask anyone, ask, ask any of my co-hosts. How many times have I joined? How many times have I bantered at you guys? Plenty. I'm, I'm actually thinking about the uh, Gulf of Friends of, between you, me, um, Nur Britannia, and I. And sometimes when Cor was there, like, yeah. Except, uh, I, I like Nur Britannia, but at the same time, I can't smack talk. I realize this, so I'm always <laughs> awkward about when that yeah. happens. Yeah, it's okay. You'll get used to it. Eventually. Wait, hold on. Uh, if, you, if you ever see Nur, tell, uh, tell him, um, let him know that uh, I, I need to. It's not like, yeah, the reason why I got quiet at that particular game, because I can't smack dog to save my life. It's okay. <laughs> uh, Potato Captain, never. We've never had a joke between... That's a joke! But yes, uh, Pung Lu, I did see your comment. Uh, I, I like red and black. It's a good combination, however... It's very popular and connected with Dimension... Uh, uh, fuck, what's her name for freaking... Uh, yeah. My 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 chemical romance. No cat. Uh. Delinquents. Anyway, uh. I think I know who you're talking about. I just can't think of the name. My immortal. Oh. The, the uh fan fiction. Yes. Oh God. <laughs> Why are people giving me silver plates? I'm thankful and all that, but come on. I mean, is it? I assume it's a full plate of silver, but also, why are you just carrying this around? Yeah, it's like, I know this is a way for me to just go to the place and do the cash and the money and then make the and, the and the thingies, but, like, madam. 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 Oh, the potato captain. Uh, yeah, the I, I've never read it myself. I've only heard readings and just the, the occasional pause by the reader saying, what the hell am I reading? <laughs> I will not admit to any evil plans I had for my subathon. I know that's that's the point of Tail Captain. It, it it's very bad, but it's it's like the room. It's a train wreck you can't look away from. <laughs> I'm hor I'm disgusted and horrified, and yet I can't look away. Basically. Exactly. Uh, and we'll have a relaxing bento, and we will have this, and that's too much. But yeah, I would never sit down and read myself all the way through, because I feel like that's. Oh, no. It's the same as cutting yourself at the same time. It's also the same as, um... But it's self-harm. It's self-harm and brain cells will not survive the trip. Oh, do you want to know what I did once? So we have a text-to-speech thing in our, uh, my D&D Discord that I'm with in case, you know, one person's unable to verbally communicate due to sore throat, sickness, or everything around them is really loud, right? Yep. Well, they kept spamming it one time during a session, and I went, that's it! Grabs the first chapter of my immortal copy, paste! Mmm. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> I have powers. They're like, wait, what? What? What, what is this? What is this? What is this? Your punishment. <laughs> the best part is, yeah, the best part is like, don't give them a wall of text I just won't read. Give them in bits and pieces. So, exactly. <laughs> Make them read. Trick them to read. Exactly. <laughs> read every that. minute of it. I separate. I uh, got rid of certain aspects that would have gotten... I basically did... I got rid of, like, that beginning blurb that's before the actual, my name is Raven DeMarcus, blah, 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 Raven Way, blah, 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 and I just copied that, I would just do each paragraph, and I go, I have the whole freaking fanfiction on tap if you guys keep this up again. <laughs> Don't think I won't use this as a weapon. I mean, the right hand's everything with a weapon. Of course, use it. Let's see what... I mean, 
it's also one of the weapons you use once just to prove you have the will to use it. Mm -hmm. Let's see, we have Virtual on. We have Virtual Fighter on uh, easy. Virtual Fighter 2. And we have the Claw Machines. And you know what pisses me off? The Claw Machines are being mean. I mean, they're Claw Machines. <laughs> No, you know how in the other games you could do a side view? You can't do that in this one. Oh. Because Ew. life is sh Oh no, you can do it on this one. You can't do it on the other ones though. Oh. Because they're against walls. Which hurts. Also, okay, this claw machine, this specific one is a lot more merciful because uh... I say that as we grab nothing. Yeah, you said that as I grabbed nothing, sir. I'm trying to grab these generic non-pound puppies. These legally distinct, not <laughs> legally distinct pound puppies. Yes. Oh, I'm glad someone remembers the pound puppies. Yeah. They were adorable. I think uh, I actually have a tiny little, pl little pound puppy plush of a, of a fox on my uh, workstation at work. I have... Adorable. I did love I it. Sorry. No, you go first. Yours, yours was, is funny. I would say, I just I just have the one in case people are wondering. I'm not... I've seen people who collect those things. I'm like, why? Oh, you mean like those people who collect Beanie Babies? I think I have two. Yeah. Was it Pound Monkeys or was it a Beanie Baby? I forget. It's, it's just all lumped into the same thing in my mind. Yeah. But yeah, it's, um... She wants a robo manager plushie. Your girlfriend has horrible taste in plushies. Anyway, is that is that the one on the bottom right, the green and white head? Yeah. Yep. Oh god. She has horrible taste in plushies. Eh. Uh, uh, I'm like that. Doesn't even look cuddable. Uh, yeah, speaking of plushies, I, I, I'm one of those people who does have a, like a lot of plushies as well as um plushies on her desk. Let's see. Hello, Chibi Godzilla. Hello, Chibi Aizawa Kitty. Hello, Luna and Artemis. Hello, Super Llama. Hello, Palmon. Hello. <laughs> Looking at all my plushies around me that are on my desk. Yeah, I only, I only have like one or two. Mostly because I don't have the room for most of my room is taken up by books and Warhammer. Boring. But hey, at least I have someplace nice to present one of these things. Okay, I'm about to do some major guesstimation here. Okay. Okay, let's see if I can get this stupid ugly plushie. I got right between them! Okay! Alright. See, this is the thing. We're gonna have to break out the, uh... See, this is where I wish you had, like, that one friend who would stand on the side to help you with the side at parts. Yeah. This is like... Hey, It'd be like, Sapphire, game... stand over there. I do this, you do that. The crane game is, uh, in Legend of Zelda, is a lot more merciful than this. At least you have a shadow. Well, I have made him more grabbable. This is a positive. Yeah, there is no shadow! It's annoying me! <laughs> yeah! So I have to guesstimate everything and use my concept of perspective as an artist. Hey, I don't know how to tell you guys this. If you've ever seen my artwork and wondered why my perspective isn't there, that's why. I suck at it. Yeah. Go to the happy vanishing point. Yeah, the happy vanishing point can bite me. Yeah, but, uh... I remember in our class, he's had troll perception as well. Like, this, you know what I mean. Um, It's still a thing I have a problem with. Oh, I have this fun problem where I can't figure out how much, where I o where I either overestimate or underestimate the size of a container I need for leftovers. My mom will look at me going, "Why is the soup in one? Why is the soup in one big container and not in like a smaller container?" I thought I needed a bigger container. Oh my God, you too. Yeah, I don't know any. Uh... It's just like I look at it, I look at the container, my brain just figures it out, and it's just like, "Is this enough?" I can say with pride, though, I haven't had a container that's too small yet. Not wood. Okay, grab the stupid, ugly-ass plushie. Oh my fucking god, I'm about to break into this door. I have an idea. All I need is a star screw. Someone give me a star screwdriver. <laughs> I'm about to break into this thing. What's our star screwdriver? What? Uh -oh. 
Again, yeah. I, I, a computer engineer, I, uh, I add those things. <laughs> yeah, I need a, uh, I'll need a star point, I'll need a star point screwdriver. We're gonna need a, one of the more bigger ones because OBS, I'll break yeah. into this. Yeah, in case anybody's wondering, why, how is the helmet no malice? Well, you see, I'm just, the helmet is a summoning device. The helmet is just a, across time and space. It's like using a crystal ball, but helmet. Yeah. Magic helmet. Magic helmet. Magic helmet. Listen, I didn't even know what that. I, I knew that song is "Kill the Rabbit." It took me years to finally learn that it's not called. The song is not called "Kill the Rabbit." <laughs> uh, there's supposed to be quote unquote robo managers, and this one guy is like, "I can't get one for my girlfriend," and they expect us to get one. So, it's a side quest. Don't think too deeply about it. You're asking some random, some random dude like, "Can you get this for me?" Okay, can't be that. Why is this so difficult? Oh! Well, I've just done the leadest of maneuvers. <laughs> <laughs> what sorcery is this? This is not. This, this doesn't make sense. His head is round. Video games. <laughs> Him on his belly's more convenient. Okay. Fuck. Uh... How is he on his head? His head's not... I... Okay. Okay. I'm assuming we just can't go left. We have to go forward, then left. Yep. It's basically go this way, then go that way. It's one of those types of... Those types of prize machines, and I hate them! Oh my fucking lord, now it's impossible to get. Okay. Okay. I have an idea. Look away, Survivor. Survivor, I need your helmet. Smash! Kay. Smash! <laughs> smash! Smash! <laughs> Ow, I have a... You're not- you can't feel pain! I mean, I can- I can- I think I can feel pain. You can't feel- time and space. Mm. Don't worry, I'll feel it if it's wait, in the future. Wait! 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 <laughs> this is why I don't like Cray games. <laughs> Literally, why I don't like great games. It's okay, cat. The crane games at my mom's old arcade weren't even this jerky. All prizes were winnable. It... Mind you, the claw machines in our in the arcade that we had were four claw, not two claw. Four claw makes it a lot easier to grab things. Two claw yeah. is bullshit. There's three claw. <coughs> Three Claw actually is a lot more supportive, but still. Okay. I have an idea. It's a dumb idea, but I'm gonna try this idea. Reset the UFO prices. Ma'am, I will give you 500 yen. 5,000 yen. Oh no, you can't do the cheese like action you used to do in Yakuza 0. Which was that you could reset the UFO prizes, and the prizes would be in different boxes. Oh. Oh, no. Oh. Okay. I will summon my inner nerd. Hey, Cat, shouldn't we be doing the main plot story? No, this is now. This is a. This 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 is a matter of pride now. This is a matter of fucking pride and dignity. Mostly pride, though, because I have no dignity. I play Yakuza on the street, on stream, and I talk about husband. I have no pride. What is pride? Okay. I'm angry. I hate claw machines. I hate these claw machines. The one that my mom had was great. This one is a dick. Ooh, you wanna know one of my favorite claw machines that was at my mom's arcade so we can talk about something fucking positive in our lives? What's your favorite what was your favorite machine at your, your mom's arcade? It was the candy claw machine. Because not only oh. did it's the claws were scoopy, and also you would keep going until you actually won something. Ooh. Also the candy was pretty good, so yeah. So just it was just fun all around. It cost like a quarter to get a handful of candy. Oh my god, candy back in like uh my dad's thirty two thousands I just you can just get like a bag full of the little little stuff which oh. I've been... 
I remember once I was like, Mom, I need a quarter. What for? I need to turn into a token. Okay. Oh, Go yeah. The money, the cost tokens are cheaper. Oh my god, I'm just remin reminiscing right now. Fun fact about that arcade, it's no longer at the mall. It decided to basically replace it with this arcade slash bowling alley. And the bowling alley arcade used ticket, used a uh, card system instead of tokens because quote unquote more convenient. And the prizes and the cost for certain games, there were games that were actually from my mom's old arcade that cost like twice as much. Yeah, and, and, it didn't, I, and it didn't make sense for them to it didn't make sense for them to kick out the freaking uh, old arcade because they were making more than enough money to keep their place. But they're like, yeah, but this will get more customers. Here's the thing that was really great about my mom's arcade. So, pocket change is what the arcade was called. It was right across from the movie theater, okay? And it was an easy, <laughs> quick get in, get out. So if your movie hadn't start yet, start yet, you would go across, play a couple of games at the arcade, give your to extra tokens to some what, some of the local kids who were playing in the arcade, and go see your movie. It was so fucking convenient. But and we were making plenty of money. But no, 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 we need a bowling alley. I would like to point out that arcade slash bowling alley has closed at least four times, and that was pre-COVID. Yeah, I, I've been uh, there's uh, there was a couple, there's a bowl, couple bowling alleys near where I live. One of them was like they just they did they did a whole rebranding. It's great. You have arcade games. You got the uh, what is it? What's it called little hockey puck things? Air hockey. Air, air hockey. There you go. Yeah, the air hockey pucks. We have um, actual bowling alleys if people want to play. It's great. Everything, and we have food, and we have good food and drinks, so you know, great you can enjoy themselves. Great for parties, so overpriced. Yeah, it's the and overpriced they... that Blake kills. It's like, because otherwise, I, I used to take co workers out there pre COVID just so we can go and relax like every other, every few, every few minutes, but we just could not consistently do it because it's so expensive. Yeah, I even point, and so now someone's going to point out going, well, you know, it has to be overpriced to compensate for the pay of the rental of the building and all that jazz. I go, and I repeat myself, pocket change didn't go overpriced inflation crazy like they did. And they still did that. They still were making profit. Yeah. Somebody, somebody just thought, like, had a great idea, a great half-baked idea. Exactly. Like, start messing with... Also, the bowling alley was loud as fuck. <laughs> yeah. Also, uh, it was really cute because uh, during a uh, report card giving day, uh, basically you would get token. It was a special thing for kids to go to the arcade with their report cards. And like, if you got A's in this, you got like so many tokens. And then, then if it was the next semester after the first semester, if there was a, hi mom. He spelled my name right. It's a Hanukkah miracle. This is from us. Chocolate. Oh, there's an orange cream one. <laughs> okay, I'll eat it. I'm kidding. I'll just avoid them. <laughs> I'll eat that one. <laughs> they all have orange cream. See? Thanks, Mom. <laughs> they all have orange cream in them. All eat all of them. Yeah. Have fun, Mom. Eating so much disgusting chocolate. <laughs> I know. It's the long one. No, I don't want that. I want to still eat the chocolate. Yes. Give me the orange cream one. Yeah, that one right yeah. there. There. Yeah. Yeah, it's the one in dark chocolate. It's such a shame. Hi, welcome to my mom is interrupting my streams because she wants to give me chocolate because it's Valentine's Day. What other flavors do they have in here? Ew. There's only two I would actually enjoy in this. Survivor? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. So it Just has you're making me you're making me hungry for more Morgie. Uh let's see, there's caramel, strawberry cream, orange cream, chocolate truffle, and uh chocolate caramel. I can only eat two of these. Is it chocolate truffle? Fine, give me the caramel one. Okay, hold on. I'll make your life easier. Okay. And the <laughs> strawberry cream one? No, I'm keeping the strawberry cream one. I can only... What was the other one you're giving me? You're getting both the caramels. There's two caramels. Oh, there's two caramels? Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it was one of those boxes of one, two, three, four, five chocolates. <laughs> Those teeny tiny ones you can set by for a buck. Ah. <laughs> and only two of the five I can actually eat. Because <laughs> one is I'm massively allergic. The other one is, um, I, the other two are I do not like caramel. That's right, you did mention that. Yeah. 
I think caramel is way too sweet and too disgusting and hurts my teeth. Anyway. Although I would like to give points to these people who do the boxes of roulette chocolate now labeling what chocolate it is on the bottom of the container. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I gotta send those. That was, uh... It's like, it does take away, it's like, you no longer enjoy the fact that life is like a box of chocolates, so you never know what's inside. Well, now you do, and now you know what you won't kill you. For me, it's like, oh, convenience. I know the orange they would most likely use is like artificial orange, not actual orange, because come on, it's a box of $1 chocolates, but come on. Right. I'll be right back, I'm gonna go refill my tea. That's green tea this time. Give me some, because my tea is almost empty and I need to refill myself with water. Actually, let's do a bio break, everyone. Yeah, that's good. That was a good time, especially at that claw game. Yeah, we're gonna go into a bio break. Everyone, enjoy yourselves. And we are back, and we're talking to the sugar daddy. Cool. Also, my mom is thankful that she got those chocolates because she's like, I didn't get a box. I'm like, here, have the ones I hate. Well, you poured 300 grand into a machine? 300 grand into a video game machine? What? 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 Th 300 grand? Do you know what you could do with 300 grand? I'm assuming this is, um... Yen. Yen? Yes, it's yen. How much is 300 grand in yen? The other 2,000? Let's see. You don't have to get that specific, but if you want to, sure. Apparently I sound a little bit like Mark Simpson in the early days. Oh, homie. <coughs> they can't do a Simpson's voice. They can't do a Homer voice. No. We said 300,000 yen, right? Yeah, 300,000 yen. 300k. In yen. In 2006. Today's money, that'd be oh geez, that's tw that's just short of uh twenty six thousand, the uh, twenty six hundred dollars. And he just said that barely keeps the lights on in his apartment in his foyer. I'm sorry. Let's see, in two thousand six, that would be. Uh. Maybe some other time. I'm not good at virtual art. It's like, if you beat me in this game, I'll... If you beat me in this game, I will let you win. I will give you ten grand. I don't even know how to play freaking Virtual Fighter. Oh, how cute! They have a history of this game. Uh, with Breakthrough 3D Graphics in 1994. Uh, high resolution and smooth fake rate in 1994. Unique fighting styles... Oh good, it gives us the fucking identities. Okay, let's see. We have Akira, Pa. Ha, ha. Oh, there's one guy called Wolf. Guess what he is? If you guess Canadian, congratulations, you win. His full name is Wolf, Ho Wolf Hawkfield. Why do I feel like that's a Native American thing and I feel very uncomfortable all of a sudden? Worked as a lumberjack until he was discovered by a scout and encouraged to take up professional wrestling. Maybe not? It would be depend. He's Canadian and he's called Wolf Hawkfield. And now he's a pro wrestler, but he was a lumberjack. I mean, he could he He's also he could Canadian. Be national, he could be the king could be nat could be like, national, he could be Canadian, but he could also do such He could also be Native American descent. It, or Native Canadian or Native yeah, Canadian. Native yeah. Canadian. Yeah, it it's a big depends. That's not something that's something that's a very personal thing you would have to have, have to find out for this man directly. Yeah. Oh, let's see. There's Australian. Ten bucks says there's didgeridoo music. Uh, because this was 1994. Old fighting Wait, games in 1994. Oh, that's right, yes. Virtual fighting. I can find out right now. <laughs> yeah, because this was an old Sega game. This is what they did with the Yakuza arcades. They were like a lot... Remember, because we don't talk about that one in Yakuza 0. I didn't even touch the arcade games in freaking Yakuza wa Kiwami 1, because I'm like, I am not touching those. Ah, 
this Japanese man knows is a ninja. His favorite hobby is mahjong. Oh yeah, he is a First Nations woman. Okay, so okay, yeah. How bad? How bad? No, no, it's First Nations, which means yes, he is he is Native American descendant. I mean, how bad is the portrayal? Is it respectful? Give me a second. Let me get further. <laughs> he is a quiet man that loves nature. He has a gentle side despite a tough exterior and kind of hard. I meant oh, the outfit. A... <laughs> you know. It's virtual. It's not terrible. I've seen worse. Yeah, it's not like random head. It's not like a hodgepodge of a bunch of definitely not this person's culture. Oh, oh boy. Oh, oh boy. Uh, basically, has the tattoo, which make which I have questions, but again, they don't go in specifics, so I can't tell. Okay, I'm about to play one round of Virtual Fighter. One. Let's say it's not super egregious. <laughs> it's. Eh. <laughs> that's based upon his most current version. Oh, that's Wolf. That's nice. That's attractive. Eh. Uh. Like it. It's kind of the point. of like, man, if I knew more about um, about native culture and tattoos. Because again, there's many First Nations. Hey, 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 Do the spamming. Hey, 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 hey. Learn your fighting skills, cat. Yep. Spam attack. Spam attack. Spam attack. So there are. That's right. There's ring out, so you can just beat him into a corner. Big <laughs> <laughs> Ravi do its thing. No problem. Okay, come on, cat. You remember your fighting game skills. Cat, you played freaking Tekken in Mortal Kombat. You never did this one. Yeah, I played Tekken at, at, at Pocket Change, the arcade my mom worked at. I never played much Tekken, so I can't really comment. I think it was Tekken. It might have been Tekken. There was a bear, and you had to fight a bear and a guy made out of fire. That sounds like Tekken. <laughs> that, just, that sounds like Tekken. I only picked the first female, and I was like, I'll pick this female. Is there a block button? Oh, there is a block button! <laughs> Who uses this button? You do, cat. I, I don't, because I, I only played Virtual Fighter 1. I did not know there was a block button. That's very much in the spam category. <laughs> yeah, you and me are in the same fighting style. We spam everything. Spam if not, if that doesn't work, button mash. Spam, button mash. The X was like, your fighting style is just you button mashing. You basically called it Smash Brothers fighting. I go, why do you call it Smash Brothers fighting? Because that's how you fight in Smash Brothers. I'm like, no, that's how some people fight in Smash Brothers. Not everyone does spam fighting. They do actually put effort into it. He just insults, he used to insult Smash Brothers a lot because he's like, it's not a real fighting game. It's not a fighting game, it's just... Yeah, well, it was okay, like he... depends on who you ask. It's like, it, that's a very much a loaded question. Some people it feels like, oh, it's too simple to be a fighting, to be a proper fighting game. Mind you, those people are usually dedicated to playing, uh, tentacle fighters. Yeah, I mean, that's just... It gets fun. You can't just put all fighting games into one, into one... The drunken fighter beat my ass. This game cheats! This has nothing <laughs> to do with my fighting style. Now Zephyrin says... Is, the, they and their brothers used to uh, used to use uh, blocking back then. By the way, oh nice. No, no, never used to use blocking. Yeah, oh, neither did me and my brother. No, and I, I get to I, my, the X. I'm about to dash on my X a lot for a minute, so don't mind me. Um, the X, as we fondly will call him, basically he was one of those people who would lump all fighter games into the same thing. I'm like, you can't do that. Smash Brothers is a different type of fighting game than, let's say, the more technical ones like Tekken and all that jazz. He's a huge fighter game, fighter fa fighting games fan, and bought me a lot of these fighting games, and, like, they're in my Steam gallery, Steam library, and part of me is like, I want to play them, but another part of me is they're connected to him. You know? Yeah. But I want to well, play him. Well, I don't, one of the few fighting games, like, it was pretty decent in Soul Calibur, enough to go... I think I mentioned I went into my uh, college tournament. Oh wow, I did a graphical glitch. Whoops. But yeah, I got a, I got the second, I got into legit second, like, I want to say legit, like, technically second place, only because the people playing the club couldn't qualify, so 
I was fourth overall, but second in terms of winning anything. But um, there's that, and there's also the one I was learning. What the other one I was learning was I think because it's just generally fun. Uh, we only punch on this. No blocking. Only punch. I, I would I would say Mortal Kombat, but uh, the only thing I only have like a CD copy of Mortal Kombat too, I, and everything I else is like PlayStation locked. I don't know why it's dark, and I'm not complaining. I'm winning. Yeah. Don't ask. <laughs> it's okay. No one needs to know. Oh, this guy. Oh, this one's higher leveled. Come on, come on. Kick, kick up. Oh, fuck. Spam the kick button. One more kick. I think it's just a grab. Remember, because this is technically an emulator within the game. So. Yeah. You know, this isn't like the uh, the best classic, where you have to buy a whole system. <laughs> it's the best classic where you have to buy a whole system that's just basically a Raspberry Pi and an emulator strapped together. Yep. I do own one. <laughs> oh! How's the buyer's remorse going? I got on I got it on sale off eBay, so I can't complain. Okay. I just want to get one because I just want to get one so I can I can hook it in and play like a person, but I also want to disassemble it and well, make my own with more games in it. Well, the one what I have is I paid money for I paid money for the Nintendo Online, which gives me access to their emulator, which now has Earthbound on it, and I'm very happy. Listen, doesn't I, have I, mother three. It doesn't have mother three on it. I'm still waiting for that one. Oh yeah, I refuse to give Nintendo more. I, refuse, I haven't played. I haven't had the need to pay for online, and I'm not going to for probably a while. I did actually not consider. Until the servers are better. I actually did consider. Um, uh, what was the game I was considering playing? Uh, I was considering doing Earthbound for a while. But the problem is I have to get the, uh, if I want to do Mother 3, I'm, g I'm gonna need to do some magic. Yeah. Which, well, mind you, I can, uh... I know, you can help I might me. be able to walk you through that. I, yeah. I have had to do magic before in the past. My issue is I've been trying to do magic with DOSBox and I'm having problems with it because I'm a dumbass! Fuck! Oh, you're not Heck, you're not, you're not a dumbass. <laughs> yes, I am. Have you no, met me? No, you're not. I'm dumb. I'm stupid. No, you're not. I, look, I've met people. I've met people. I've had to explain to people why you can't plug in a USB key, uh, a USB key into a network port and just expect it to work. <laughs> if you, you have that, you have that down. You are not dumb. I've met really dumb people with technology. I lost. I lost. I lost. Did you lose to the rich man? To the uh, sugar daddy? Oh no, the rich man lost! Cool. Oh. Yeah, still no mother three. I Sad. got some uh. money! Why are there just two random girls here? Madams, madams, get out of the way! I wanna access the tea machine. Fine, I won't access the tea machine. Nyeh, nyeh, nyeh. I'm supposed to do something actually productive. Let's be productive. And why are we being productive already? Well, when I be, say productive, I mean... Go find the old man and beat the crap out of him again and get some money out of him. Hey. Yes, the age-appropriate character... I have a thing for the age- yes, the clean, normal, age-appropriate character. I don't have a crush on the old man. Wait. There's a joke in here and I failed at it epically and I feel sad. Oh look, a bookstore! Survivor, look, a bookstore! Look! 
Hey, um, ma'am? Ma'am, 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 hi. Do you have the special edition Sailor Moon mangas? Do you have the Sailor Moon art books by her, the name of the artist whose name I can't remember off the top of my head? I need those. I have. I have. I, well, it's not a physical copy, but. Eh. Also, Survivor? Yeah? Have you met Crab Son? No, I've not met Crab Son. You have not met my Crab Son? Our Crab Son? Crab. Crab. No, I remember him in Zero. This is like one of the things I remember about Satanburi was Crab Son and Pufferfish Child. And Crab Son has upgraded. He's no longer just a still crab. He actually animates. I'm so proud of him. Aww. All hail Son. Crab I Son. I was going to put crabs in chat. Unfortunately, the person who had that remote from no longer has it in their listing. You, oh, Shame. Oh, oh, no more crab. No more crab. Okay. Hi there. Hi, I want to eat crab. Okay, I'm not going to lie. I actually love crab meat. Yeah. I love oh. it immensely. Oh, I love crab. Crab is so good. Yeah. Yeah. I love crab. The pain in the ass. It's a pain in the ass yeah. to get through, but damn, is it yummy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, um, I'd say that yeah. my biggest introduction was the last in King Crab, but um, otherwise, outside of that, I tried a lot of different kinds and I just love them all. We all love <laughs> them. They're all good. Remind she me to take you to Florida it. so I can tra show you stone crab. Ooh. So, here's a fun thing about stone <laughs> crab fishing it is the most. Not greatest fishing ever. I don't know what the term is for it. So what they do is they go grab the snow crabs, right? And they just yep. rip off one arm. They just rip off one claw. They let them keep the other claw and they just toss them back into the ocean. It's sustainable. Oh. Semi-sustainable. And like yep. the new arm grows back and you know, they just pick off the bigger of the two arms. And that's how snow crab is harvested. That's actually, I mean, it sounds gruesome, but at the same time, it's like that's actually a lot better than what I was expecting. The crabs don't feel anything anyway. They don't have they're they they have exoskeletons. They can't feel shit. Huh. So oh, yeah, I forgot about could. that. Huh. Oh my god. Yes, ma'am. Look at the the crabs are in the tank. Oh my little crab children. Aww. I love them all. Breaks the tent. B breaks the tank. Be free. Freedom. <laughs> what are things that Majima would do? Cat, stop doing crazy things. No. No. Beef wee little crabs. I did actually consider making a crab form for myself. It was going to be a hermit crab because I used to raise hermit crabs as a kid. Oh. I actually kept raising I, hermit I, crabs and then COVID happened. The end. Anyway. Eh. I couldn't get certain supplies and stuff. Kiryu-san. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. I, Don't yeet the crabs of the ocean. They're most likely invasive. Yeah, that's actually yeah. I think you would get into also get into a lot of trouble for doing that. Yeah, it's like when you remember when you found the random axolotl here in Japan. Like axolotls aren't native to Japan; they're native to this one little place in America. And then, and then recently, I have read an article where they go an axolotl species that was thought to be extinct was found in the pool, found in the rivers of Japan. I'm like, oh my god. Oh, Boy. that sounds uh. No, we are not breaking the natural order, Zephron. I am chaotic good. I'll do chaos, but it has oh, to also be, you know, not shitty. No, no, yeah, don't. Ooh. In this case, don't do that. Because don't the problem is not just, don't, don't introduce species to places that don't exist because they don't have natural predators to deal with it. So not only would you, not just a problem for people, it's a problem for the entire environment because it has to adjust very quickly. Looking that's at why lionfish are a problem out in, out in the Caribbean. Well, that's why I think I'm important. Yeah, uh, that's the other reason why hogs are a fucking problem here in Florida, as well as boa constrictors, because people are like, I want a boa constrictor for a pet, then it gets too much to handle, and they just release them out into the Everglades. Oh no, pigs are worse. Oh yeah, Pigs is because are. the Spaniards, <laughs> when they were, you know... Visiting. When they were visiting, conquistoring, they uh, said, no, we'll just go to this random island, a random place, drop off some pigs, come back like a, a generation or two later, and guess what? There's pigs everywhere! We'll have a sustainable force of food. Here's Except a, for, you know, they went wild. everybody else that's not used to pigs in that area. So, 
suddenly it's terrible, terrified. Okay, so here's a fun factoid here in Florida. So you you know how you're required to have a hunting license? Yeah. Hog hunting, you do not need a hunting license. Yeah. Because that, it counts as environmental service. Yeah, it's uh, that's it. That's how that's how it's you're able to do hunting. Then. That's uh not necessarily uh against any regulations yeah, yeah, yeah. requiring license. It's uh it doesn't count. They don't protect invasive species. Yeah, invasive species. Especially if they're like their population is exploding. Exactly. So that's why amongst a lot of rednecks and lower class families, hog hunting is a very popular thing. Yeah. But at the same time, though, it's like Hi. at least it's not you're not causing undue harm. You're just trying to keep the like we're the biggest check and balance against all of that. Yeah. Let's you know leverage that. Yeah. I get that. Yeah. And so. I I, when I was in high school, I was part of a remove of invasive... Uh, so there's like this wetlands in my area. And we are basically removing invasive species and putting new species in. It's a pain in the ass, but it was worth it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, and Zeppelin's talking about how rabbits got the invasive Australia. Certain knuckleheads. <clears throat> British. <laughs> Hunters want to have fun in Australia, so they introduced bunnies to the hunt. Because, you know, Australia was already had a bunch of terrifying things there. Let's make it even worse. Yes! Also the toads. <sighs> Ooh, a bookstore! This one's called Revenge Books. I like the name of this bookstore. I want to go in. I want to go in. What do you mean I can't go into the bookstore? It's huge, too! It's a big bookstore. I want to go in the big bookstore. <laughs> That's the thing, I, I always love going to like bookstores. Oh. Just the smell. Just the smell. The only thing that's like said, my and my terrors my joy of love's like I love libraries, low dash bookstores, like below that is it any any store that happens to do as a side business that have any sort of reading. Yes. Yes, I'm a nerd. I don't care. It's her. quiet here. There's, there's the reason why I hate it. I had a whole lot. For the most part, I didn't hate high school. I just hate most of it. Oh, Our that's... Class, music class is fine. The fact that they didn't let me go to the library pissed me off immensely. Oh, did you hear about that one library that's basically like you have to remove all your sexual books or else you're gonna have... You know, because God told him to. And the library was so, like was losing their funding if they didn't quote unquote follow this mayor's demands and then oh basically they did a GoFundMe thank you furry community by the way for uh, giving money to that library oh, oh. I don't know what that mystery drink did to me <sighs> I'm scared to learn also they've changed the uh the uh the uh what is this thing called inventory cat How have they, how they changed the inventory? It's a lot more organized, and I'm happy about it. Yeah, you can see that. Yeah, like, mind you, I'm happy with most inventory systems that has a fil that's some sort of filter nowadays. Mm -hmm. And anything that's not like, uh, how do you call it? The Resident Evil slash Diablo 2 style of, okay, make everything fit in your box. Mm -hmm. That. It makes the OCD in my brain go insane okay. when that happens. Oh no, someone did this video of them uh, reorganizing everything perfectly in the inventory in Resident Evil 4, and my brain was just like, ah. Yeah, it feels nice until, oh wait, I have to load back a save, and now everything's horrible again. Yeah, no, I just watched the video. It's like, it's like, if I ever got Resident Evil 8, I'm excited to play it for two obvious, three obvious big reasons why I want to play that game. But... I have to do inventory management, and I'm not the best when it comes to that type of in that style of inventory. Yeah, like mm. uh, I, s I say as I do inventory, it's like is it, is it says more about me that I, I my in-game inventory is a lot more organized than my actual life. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, your life is organized? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying. Uh, I'm saying I spend more time in a virtual space making sure everything's all spick and span than I do in my real space. Don't mind me, just boosting my abilities. Wait, what other stack can I boost? 
Ah, quick step. All right. There we go. Oh, I get money increased if I fight people now. Yay! Find me some people to fight! I must murder people! I mean, what? We're not, we're not murdering them. Kiryu, Kiryu doesn't murder. Kiryu. Kiryu. Kiryu is from Sword Art Online, that, ha the dot, right, I, that dot hack knockoff. Yeah, sorry, I just... It's the, uh... What's the name? Drift. It's okay. Chad, I apologize. <laughs> apologize! <laughs> How dare you not know who Senpai is? I'm so annoyed. We've been in this game for so long and I have yet to see Majima. I think he'll show up in chapter 5, but I'm still like, I want my man. Also, there's a thing that happens that uh, post chapter 5 called the Majima Saga, which is basically like this really short part of the game where it's like, you know, shank. Uh, the short, this little bit of the game where it's like, oh, learn what's been going on with Majima in the game. I'm like, okay, that sounds fun. Oh, I've been receiving the purple bun. Thank you for the bun, madam. Do you know what that bun does? Survivor. Oh, what? Okay. Do? How you play? Po do you play Pokemon? We've been over this. Yes. Okay. You know how there was the uh, proteins and all that jazz that basically the point of it was to improve a sp improve a sp stat. Yes. Same concept. <laughs> basically, the purple bun improved my purple stat, which will help me when I am upgrading my normal stat, so I can include new things. Congratulations, Kat. You have learned. Okay, we'll go shopping for bandages and, you know, help the people. Because we're good like that. Oh, wait, can we actually walk through the Don Quixote? Oh my god, we can walk through this. I need that maid outfit. For Majima. And our maid outfit bit. Ooh, actually, hold on. We can do this in first person. It makes it look better. Let's see. Nurse's outfits. Plushies, thingies, pantyhose, banana, hats, socks. Man, this place has everything. Hair dye, shampoo. Survivor, you need anything while we're at the store? <laughs> uh, just more liquor. Actually, no, I need, I need cola. <laughs> Uh, liquor is not available at Don Quixote's. Uh, Let's go, I got liquor. Get me, get me, uh, get me... Ties. Get me more, uh, Coca-Cola. Ties. Japanese traditional snacks. Ooh, 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 Traditional Japanese food. Ooh, this looks interesting. Why did they have... They didn't have to do this, but they did this. Sega did this. Sega. They put effort. Yeah, unlike some companies. EA. <clears throat> I was gonna. I was gonna say uh, Konami, because you know the, the whole pachinko machines. But yes, EA is a good choice. Don't say Konami and pachinko unless you want me to do a twenty-minute rant about what, how they fucked over the Silent Hill fans again. <laughs> I mean, okay, <laughs> the Metal Gear fans, the Silent Hill fans, is a lot of their uh, IP. People who like their IPs look at Konami like, why are you doing this? Why? They're already wanting to invest in NFTs, and I'm wanting to fucking punch them. Yeah. The only I can't wait. the only I can't wait for NFTs to crash and burn. I said you're going. The only NFTs I'm into are nice fucking tits and nice fucking tushies. Ah, ah, yeah. ah. So I'm trying to work no fun allowed into yeah, NFTs. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> but yes. Oh, and the Sudoken fans. Yeah. Let's see some toughness Z's. Just get a little more toughness. See, um, yeah, I've got Sudoken. Oh. Hadouken. I'm just. Oh, we can buy liquor here. Would you like some kakubi? Kakubi, a classic whiskey revived for its sweet scent, distinct richness, and dry aftertaste. What does dry mean? I don't drink that much alcohol. Again, my alcohol preference is it's, weird. Let's see. I think dry means that um. I want to say dry means that it's like it evaporates and just leaves you a little, leaves you a little bit more thirsty afterwards, rather than quite anything approaching quenchiness. Don't mind it's like me. Some, 
I think. Again, I'm not the uh, expert when it comes out, bro. I'm, I'm slowly delving more and more into that, that particular side. Well, that's beer. I bought beer. A bold yet smooth comfort beverage that mis uh, manages to fully replace the multifaceted flavors of more traditional beers. Oh, yeah. The, the malt? Yeah. It's a small beer. I hate beer. <laughs> we all part. hate beer. I hate beer. Now, someone's going to be like, no, you hate American beer. No, I hate beer. Jack. Beer. Full stop. I want to try German beer only because I hear it's different. Yeah, and or Belgian. I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> but if it ends up just being more of the same, I'm like, yeah, I don't think I like beer. <laughs> yes, proceed with purchase, please. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, let's see if there's any good equipment that I've included now. Okay, let's see. This is good for my defense, but right now... Oh, so that's the reason why my attack is so good. I forgot I got that item. Stay with me. See, that's plus six. Plus six, plus four. Plus five. See, if you wear items that are the same color, you get an extra bonus, and it's called the quote-unquote blessing or something. I don't know. Frog. I don't know. I just do the thing. <laughs> oh, right. I'm supposed to buy freaking uh, bandages for the lady who's currently bleeding out. If we go through Chapter 4 quicker, Cad, that gets you to Chapter 5, which opens you up to much more fun and exciting things. You know. And Majima. Your husband. <laughs> I would like to also state your honor in case someone is watching this. I do not legitimately think Majima is my husband. I am not that level of crazy. This is mainly just for fun. And humor. It, nothing deeper than that. Hello, husband. <laughs> Hello, y'all. You know, it, it's like everyone's got that. Every, almost everyone's got that person that they would absolutely, if they were, if they would like to be in a relationship. They kind of have, have the uh, the crush over. I have many of those actually, we, and I real, need real you fictional. What is though? <laughs> oh yeah, I, I need might. I need to do more um more of those to be perfectly honest because I want to include some other of the husbandos. But I keep forgetting to do that because I have to find like clips of certain of certain characters and everything and all that. And Thank you. Also, it's becoming a cluttered mess when it comes. If you looked at my OBS right now, you would think it's chaotic clutter, and it is. And I need to learn how to organize better. Which means I need to talk to people who do actual stream stuff and actually, you know, do stuff like that, but I don't know. I have to communicate with humans. Yeah. Hey, let's go beyond! Plus Ultra! That was funny in my head, it's not that funny. Alright. Self-deprecation is my humor. I mean, it's a lot of people's humor. <laughs> You're not alone mm -hmm. in that fact. Oh. oh yeah, we helped this guy. Yay, Hi. we helped the old- we helped the man. Now give me my stuff. Nice. Why, you gave me a silver plate! What's with all these silver fucking plates? Uh, I'm gonna have so many silver plates, I can make armor out of them. I mean, I can sell them and make money. That's basically the point of the silver and gold plates, but this is me being silly. You know, I honestly want to look up and see why so many people do this. Is there a reason? Is there a secret? It's basically a way to give you... I remember in Yakuza 0, it was a way for you to hoard money, so in case you went up against, let's say, Mr. Shakedown and lost, you would have, like, a backup stash of cash. That's the legitimate reason in 0. I think the other reason was it was a way for people to just basically give you objects so as a way of a token of appreciation, and it would make sense for a common person to have a plate available than actually have like a stack of a hundred yen. 
I guess. I, I assume. I don't know. I'm too old for You're never too old for a crush. I'm having and I'm crushing on fictional characters like crazy. Do I fi crush on real people? Ugh, real humans hurt me. <sighs> Not after the incident. Nani. Yeah. yeah, I'm still technically healing from that. That's okay. That's it's okay. Just give it give yourself time. Time heals all wounds, and then as as Kiryu said, though time doesn't always heal those wounds, it just leaves a lot of massive scars. I'm like, ugh, preach. Yeah. That's true. It's like it heals the wound. The scar, however, does not go away. Not for a long while. I mean, yes, I could use a wonderful little allegory about how I have this. I used to have the scar on my thumb from when I burnt myself in that incense cone, and now it's not there anymore. But if I still look at my thumb, I can actually see the weird dissipation in my skin. So it's still there. It's just not as an obvious scar anymore. And it's only there when you really notice it. I'm poking at it right now in real life. <laughs> Stop that, cat. Oh my god, this man's a capitalist. He's like, it all boils down to money. Oh my god, it's CEO. Uh -huh. um, it's CEO entrepreneur born in 1964. Jeffrey. Jeffrey Bezos. That was your cue. I know. I'm sorry. I'm just going on. Like, please tell me this is at least is a, a Ned Turner. What, what was his name from? Who made um? Time Warner. Captain Planet. Time. Oh no, yeah, Ned uh, Turner. Oh fuck him. Yeah, that's. I that's... actually don't know much about the guy. I learned that he made he made Captain Planet. He made Captain Planet and basically screwed SWAT cats over. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> now I'm angry. <laughs> oh, by the way, cat, SWAT cats are coming back. I'm I'm excited and also very very concerned. Of course you are. I, I mean, mean, do you blame me? <laughs> I don't blame you. No, I will not blame you because I'm also concerned. But uh, listen, I'm concerned about the new Futurama, which I'm like, it ended so well. What are they gonna do? Yeah, that's a good point. I did hear that was coming back. Yeah, but Why? um. But John DiMaggio, who plays Bender, you know, the most important character in the freaking game, movie is not, show is not going to be in there. And the reason he's doing it is because he wants more money. And it's not like an ego thing for him. He's like, I deserve more. All my pe all the people who are on the show deserve more than what you're wanting to pay us, Hulu. He's basically, you know, wanting VAs to have some decent money, you know? Yeah. He's like, I'm not doing this until you pay my people better. And here's yep. a fun. And here's yeah, a funny on. thing. Um, Chris Sabat made a joke to... going, "I will be voice." Did a joke going, "I will be voicing Bender on all days that don't start with that don't end with Y." Screw you, Hulu. John DiMaggio's right. You need to pay us better. You need to pay your actors better. <laughs> he tweeted yeah. that out, and I'm just like, I love this man. It's immediately so like, if I got to like, if I got to dislike this man, oh no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, he is, he is calling the the BS out. Uh, but he does okay, have a point. Fine. VAs get treated like garbage. Yeah. I know. I know some people. That, I I've met people who who treat who treat Void Hunter like, oh, they're not real actors. Like, yes, they are. <laughs> yes, they are. Stop. They put more effort into the freaking voice acting than you would ever. Thank you for the fifty thousand yen, Nouveau Riche. Love you. Um. Oh, as I was gonna say, like, okay, so there's the thing. This happened right after Fallout 4 came out. All right, the, you've you've played Fallout 4, right? Yes. I did finish it. Well, it's not that important. It, well, the the ending is not that important in this story. Yeah, I know so, the ending. So go on. Anyway, so the guy who played Kellogg, you know, a very important character in the show, in the in the game, right? Yeah. Wasn't told how vital his character was, and was like, oh, you're just a random thug, da da da. You're not that major in the story, blah, blah, blah. It wasn't until he played the game that he found out how important Kellogg was and how underpaid he was, and he got really ticked off about that, which started a, one of the many voice actor uh, voice actor protests that happened a few years ago. Because he was like, because voice actors just wanted some... They just... They're like, they, they get they want to keep projects quiet because you don't want them to leak it out and shit, right? But they're like, no, we want to know how big of a role our characters are going to be and what's this project for? Because it used to be they were completely in the dark. They didn't even know who what they were working on or how big this role is. They were just given some really bare-bones shit. 
<laughs> but now it's getting better. And now it's just like basically it's NDA contracts and prayer. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's... I, I, I'm... A lot of like... Okay, I had some not great opinions things about uh, a payroll because I didn't know better. After mm -hmm. going through building so uh, business school, after going through and see, doing his some history and seeing how things are shaped out of COVID, yeah, yeah. yeah, a lot of that's changed. To realize, yeah. to realize, man, I had some terrible opinions. You're doing better. You're like, growing. I, yeah, but I'm doing better because I recognize a those were garbage opinions, and b Jesus Christ, pay your people some freaking money to not so live. <laughs> like not, like seriously, like what the hell, like. That's why nowadays never see like, oh hey, we made record profits in the middle of a pandemic, in the middle of like people being people's uh, inflation, in the middle of things not a lot of things going up in price, but not pay. Get it just gets me gets you mad. Yeah. <laughs> just gets you very mad. Oh, I do love it. I remember um, uh, like Disney's like we lost this much money this year because no one was coming to the parks. Yes, I sit here going, yeah, but you made a shit ton of money because of Disney Plus subscriptions because of the pandemic. Yeah. Okay, bandages. And we'll buy... Okay, so you can only buy the maximum of 10 of these items each. Okay, good to know. I need to know that for future reasons. <laughs> I'm not spending a shit ton of money on food. No, well, not food, really. It's health items. I need those. I mean, it's, vir it's virtual money. It doesn't matter. Look how much virtual I money I have. I wish I had this much virtual money and real money in real life, although it would be in yen and most likely means nothing. What's how much? What's 500 yen? What's 500,000 uh, yen in uh, American? Does anyone know? You're looking it up right now. 4,331 dollars. Really? 4,000? Yeah. I expected higher. I don't know why I expected higher, but I expected yeah. higher. <sighs> yeah, last comment I want to make about having good opinions is that, look, everyone has good opinions, everyone has bad opinions. Various things. The whole idea is you learn while you can. And apologize when you make you make mistakes and again learn learn. But if you're showing you're learning and everything, it's a good thing. Like yeah, it's like if you keep repeating the same mistake, it questions: Were you really uh, learning from your mistakes, or were you just saying that to get out of trouble? But there's a difference. <laughs> and some people have yet to learn that. But at the same time, also learn to be a little bit more not apologetic, but more accepting of apologies, because we're all human in the end. We are. Well, we're all the game same world creatures. Like, look, we, everyone makes mistakes. <laughs> all right, we're supposed that, to be helping he people because we're good people now. We are. Yeah, yeah. Kiryu is, is absolutely a good person. Oh, Kiryu is when we made. I made jokes with a. Uh, wait, you were the one who was there when we were talking about what their alignment would be on the freaking uh, in the Jedi world. Oh yeah. There, he's a great Jedi. Oh yeah, definitely. It's. That's right, we did come to that conclusion because... And because, like, he's, he's absolutely the first person who, who go against the Jedi Order for being... Call him out on being, well... He's Qui-Gon! He's Qui-Gon! Yeah! It's like, this is bullshit. He's Qui-Gon slash... Man... Uh, is it Mandu? Mandu? Samuel L. Jackson! Oh yeah, um... Dark Side Hunter. Yeah! But you have to learn a little bit more about the Dark Side and get involved. Like, you have to get your fluffy tail wet. Well, not oh, dirty, huh. dirty. No, I did not have a, that dive was a bit tongue. Shut up, chat. You don't know. You did hear that. Mm -hmm. But yes, uh, you have to you have to uh, darken yourself in order to understand what you're fighting. Yeah. That, that, that's not an. It's that is a very old concept. No, but not a bad concept. It's actually it's the closest we're probably to get a mainstream amongst a few other things of a gray side Jedi or a great. Which is sad because I want the dark side to be a lot more nuanced. It's just, ooh, dark, bad. Ooh, light, good. 
Yeah, I wanted to also be more nuanced because the thing is, when it comes to the Jedi, they're not that great. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna point this out. The Jedi basically are like Vulcans. They do not stay in touch with their emotions and all that shit because you know we must be pure and all that. And they don't get in touch with their emotions. While the Sith are the Romulans. Think about it. How emotionally touch are the Romulans? This is where you're gonna oh, tell yeah. me you weren't a big Star Trek fan, right? <laughs> no, this is where this is where I'm telling you absolutely correct. I am a big Star Trek fan. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately. It's basically it's like, Vulcan versus Vulcan versus Romulan. But like, okay, so I've established because of the rules that are established when it comes to Jedi and Sith, technically, because of how Majima is very in tune with his motions, has no issues going crazy, but does do the greater good, he is a more lighter form of Sith. Which is there a term for that? I, th I think well, I want to say I think so. There, pro there definitely is. I think because the problem is they're not really developed and gone into for whatever reason. I know this because in Star Trek, in, uh, Star Wars: The Republic, I'd one of the Sith I play. Yeah. The friendliest Sith you've ever met. Yeah, my Sith is when I used to play uh, Star Wars Online. My Sith was the same way. It was just like, so why are you Sith and why are you this species? Because you get the dual lightsaber and I'm a nerd. Oh yeah, D Dark Side Inquisitor, <laughs> Sith Inquisitor. Yay. You knew exactly what. Role. And I went for yeah. the guys with the horns and the pointy heads because I'm like, I like the designs. I'm one of those people who's like, I have no issues going the weird, different route. Yeah. Uh. My, my, my uh, Sith Warrior, I was uh, debated about either going. When I was doing that, was either going to be. Um, what was it? Sith. The uh, Sith Blooded? Yeah. The, the, guys, the guys are based. Star Wars Tieflings. <laughs> Star put, Wars put, Tieflings. Put, <laughs> that's, 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 that's the best way to put that. The, uh, the Darth Maul people? Yeah, uh, not the Darth Maul. That's the, that's the Zarbok. Zarbok, yeah. whatever it's called. My character's I don't know, Zarbok. I'm not. My character is a so, Zarbrak. Someone in chat, correct me. I, my character is a Zarbrak. Uh, so is my friend yeah. Shrub. He also wins Zarbrak because he likes Darth Maul. And he's like, I like the look of him. I go, I'm glad. This is about to open up some weird aspects of you. And he goes, what makes you say that? I know all your other f fictional crushes. Mr. I think Mr. I think Frieza's hot. Okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> How do you think that? That leads to more questions. Moving on. Don't ask. Do not come down this rabbit hole with me. It's annoying. <laughs> Anywho, so that's what I was saying. Um, yeah, that thing is that Sith are all about emotion and being able to channel that emotion. And, and they're Jedi are about. It's like, <laughs> so... but here's the thing: I would love to play more of a Great Order Jedi that wasn't except the Jedi when they start doing dark side stuff usually tend to be dicks. Yeah, which is the problem. Uh, we're looking at, like, um, so I, 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 I made. So now that we've all established that basically. Uh, Sith are very close and attached to their emotions and use their emotions as a form of power. And we all know about that Princess Peach game, which basically she uses her emotions as different powers. Does that mean Princess Peach is a Sith? <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, am I wrong? Nope. Uh, I can't, can't count on that. There's a box here. Why is there a box here? Ooh, a package. Open package. Oh, you found when I played the Yaku system data from the Yakuza series has been found. Oh, thank you for the marble. Oh, it's because I did it on an... It, it detected my old saves. Thank you. Boy. But yeah, um... Oh, God. Uh, 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 surgery imagery. Surgery imagery. Look away, children. Oh, it's not that graphic. We're fine. Okay. <laughs> Also, if you hear me screen grabbing like crazy, it's because we need images of Kiryu for reasons. Also, we really like the chick we saved, by the way. She's really badass and awesome and has no issues fighting people. I like her. If she dies, we riot. Oh, God, hear you. Give Survivor Fire the spray bottle. You know what to do. Yes, I do. Can't say it. Why? There you go. Ow! Not yet! <laughs> oh. Please, come on! 
<laughs> but no, she's she's a badass lady who works in the police force and like has no issues talking up against men. And I'm like, I like this character. She better not fucking die. There's a lot of strong women characters in this game, and I'm sitting here going, please, Yakuza, don't shelve them. Please, Yakuza, don't hurt them. I don't mind the pain. I do. It's like I don't want to die, but I don't mind. Uh, they can get hurt. Bullet grazes are fine. We're just talking about full on death. Not fridging, but um, which I just learned about that concept recently. Yeah. But I was saying, what I'm getting at though is like, just don't ruin it. Whatever you do, don't ruin it. I mean, like make him like, oh hey, we're gonna make this person a bad guy for terrible reasons. I know that, like, Yakuza, someone pointed out, Yakuza's been very pro-women! <laughs> like, Yakuza Zero is not as horrible, as sexist as some people think it is, it's actually very feminist. Yeah. So it's like, and Yakuza Kiwami, we haven't really got, there wasn't a lot of females to talk about. But this one has girls, and... Also, we're supposed to be paying attention. Yes, we are. However, not. <laughs> Oh no, I'm kind of paying attention. I'm reading the subtitles and talking at the same time. Okay, something about the model's nails in this look really weird. They're way too rectangular. Huh? It was a pro sniper. Oh. 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 Yeah, don't go onto the wiki to look for art references of this woman, because you know you're going to accidentally read something that's going to make you really upset. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Finish the game first. Oh, no, 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 Because the Mahjan that I remember as a kid is not the Mahjan that they play, so I'm fucked. Well, we try it in this game? You really want to the Mahjong in this game no. is actual Mahjong. It's not like those Mahjong computer games, you know, where you're trying to basically match two. It's not like that. Ah. So therefore, I fudge. I actually tried to learn how to play Mahjong and show and all the games that are in this, you know, for fun. And the, all, every explanation was so complicated, my eyes went cross. Yeah. Like, is there one that has pictures and simplistic words? And Kiryu wearing pants. Uh. Uh. Ye. Yeah. Also, uh, not to distract or anything. I'm cleaning up inventory in one of my games just so I can have clear inventory before doing the expansion hits later this month while we're playing. Oh, what game are you playing? Uh, yeah, the uh, the game I was playing before. Yeah, I'm just cleaning up inventory. Oh. Point is dope. Uh, I have a choice between two miniatures. Mm -hmm. Do I go a miniature of a puppy? Oh. Not actual miniatures, but in game, uh -huh. uh, a puppy or an Arctic fox kit. They're both adorable. Oh, what kind of puppy is it? Is it like generic puppy or is there a specific breed puppy that they show? They show a specific. They, the name. The name is specific breed puppy. It's just some um, generic uh, puppy breed. However, this looks like a beagle. Ooh! I think I'm gonna go with the, go with the uh, beagle. For obvious reasons. Yes. It's like, but yeah, it's like, but they're both cute. It's like, what about the red panda? What about the, the tiger? What about. This? Look, look, if we're gonna. We're gonna be here all day if we have to choose between one of these things. Oh, oh, also, do you want to see the one bit of Majima we have? Behold, yes. so far, our one bit of Majima. <laughs> there he is. We haven't seen him yet. We know he's in this game. I Somewhere. Somewhere. The yeah, I remember, the employee of the month. 
I just what? Emo puppy sounds adorable though. Is that? I just oh, want yeah. oh. Majima to kiss it. Yeah, to... Hey, uh, Pop, I, I'm gonna ask you one question. I don't mean anything mean by it. I just need to know. Are you, uh, my Team emo puppy, are they, are they commenting that you're, like, someone who's of smaller stature? <laughs> who's just very angry when people just kept referring to him as adorable and cute? Because that sounds like how, the, I can see how the nickname came about, but also mm -hmm. I feel bad because having to put up with that after a while, it gets grating. Oh. Uh, I knew a person who was an asshole who would always say, you look adorable when you're angry. You're so cute yeah. when you're angry. I'm like... <sighs> and he wouldn't take me seriously if I got emo... Th again, not my ex. Um, for once, not about my ex. Yep. And he was just like, he couldn't take me seriously because when I get angry, I get passionate, which means there is crying, there is voice ca cracking, there is a lot of stuff. And he would just stand there and laugh at me. He's like, I can't take you seriously while you're acting like this. We're trying to have a civil conversation. We are not having a civil conversation. You're the asshole who just started insulting me. Yeah, I, uh, my brother's like that. I do not care for it. All right, so we need to get an invite to be able to play the Mahjong. I have an idea. Kiryu, show off your titties. But that's sexual exploitation. Yeah, well, shut up. It's security. He's not going to do that. He's not a uh, Johnny Bravo. Johnny Bravo would do that in a heartbeat. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, you're just saying, John, Johnny, he would just that. Uh, he would, the only question he has, like, are there hot mamas? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Shirt's coming off. <laughs> oh my god, I love. I, I never got to appreciate Johnny Bravo's kid, but the older I get, the more I appreciate it. Like, it the more he, is I do. A, he is himbo incarnate. And yes, he is a horrible person for flirting with women, but that one. But it's just like, ugh, it's a good game. It's a sh good show. Uh, but Jungle got up and quit Maja. Now he wastes his money. Oh. Okay, gotta get got addicted to the UFO catcher machines. Kind of sad story. Oh god, I have to go to the UFO sa machines. Quick to the arcade. Oh, oh boy, here we go again. Oh baby, oh baby, oh baby. Actually, this is more of the oh shit. Here we go again. <laughs> yep. I want that gift, but with Yakuza, please, because I'm like I don't play GTA, so. <laughs> And then people go, why don't you play GTA? I go, because I was a Saints Row fan, so... <laughs> Which I need someone to... I, I wanted to do Saints Row, but I've mentioned this before. I can't do it because the soundtrack is vital for Saints Row. But there's this problem. It's called copyright music is a bitch. I'm just gonna shank this guy. Oh, yeah. We killed people. You know, Kiryu, I'm very impressed how clean your suit is with all the people we've been punching and bleeding. Aren't you impressed? Oh, by the way, Funk World, to answer your question. Yeah, oh, so you were like me. You were just. You were one of the very. <laughs> the very. Almost. Like, okay, let me put it this way. In, uh. Up till, I think, pa oh, just past oh. college, I was so skinny. And I breathed in, you can see all of my bones and ribs. And people would just freak out and say, Give this give this kid a hamburger, Christ! And that was largely most of my life. Except, uh... Yeah. yeah. So I understand that. I wasn't the emo kid, though. I was the kid who, who, read, who kept reading history books and War, Warhammer in the corner, and people thought, Let's be friendly. Let's be nice to him. Why? I don't... He might do something if, he's, if, if we bullied him. Oh, I remember one time when I was a young lass, someone was like, we should stop picking on Cat. Why? She might start a school shooting. I'm like, wow! Yeah, that same thing. <laughs> it's like, don't say it with an earshot of me, please. Also, let's, uh, I appreciate the fact you're thinking. I, I, I appreciate you wanting to be nice. I do not appreciate you thinking I'm going to do that. That's, uh, oh, well. The bueno, it is gone. Oh no! Our table! It's broken! Yeah. Yeah. That's not Zephron 
Punk, you, you get you get my pain when it comes to older siblings being jerkish. Dicks. Hey, I'm an yeah. older sibling. I'm not a dick. Mind that's, you, that's me and my good, sister. That's just, you're a good per you're a good person who tries. My brother, uh, he's not. He, uh, well, uh, no, he he tries sometimes, but other times it's just he gets too smug for his own good. I wanna go to this place. Look at this. Hold on, first person. It's called Steakhouse Hungry Tom. I wanna go in here. Oh, that looks cool. I want to go to this place. I want to go in. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. I want to eat at the steakhouse. I'm trying to remember over there. You're thinking of Longhorn. In... No, it's like, we're, we're think... you're in Sotenburo, right? Sotenburo, yeah. Sotenburo. The two places I, if I, if I was going to go out to um, anywhere in that direction I want to visit is Akihabara Market, because of all the technology. Nerd. Yeah. And um, there's one other one that's over in China that's also considered like a, the tech haven, the tech heaven for uh, like, you, like you don't understand. You can get like electronic parts, everything you can possibly imagine, Good. at dirt cheap prices. Okay. It's like yeah, it's like like for example, like electronics here. If you go to a store and get like a like a chip yeah. or processor that have to solder on, yeah, or a uh, circuit breaker or what? Not circuit breaker, um, the capacitor. They are. Like I said, a four dollar, five dollar part costs like twenty cents. Not because it's not worth it, and they're downing, they're they're moving down the prices. It's because they're not worth that much. Everything is hyperinflated once it hits the states. Yeah, it's called shipping is a bitch. Yeah, shipping and um, like shipping, storage. There's there's a there's a lot of reasons why. Also, and some not great. And this guy wants me to get him this little red kitty. Okay. Also, if uh. You ever want to have something uh, reproduce or break or back or back? No, I was um, reverse engineered. Guess where you go to? China. Then uh, I think I can There's people who there do the same, so it's not like a specific thing. Have, bye, Zep. Bye, Zep. Have a uh, have a good lurk. Have a good lurk. Just keep the kids. Um, but yes, it's it's kind of like it's much more common. People get let into less trouble doing so. So that's why, like, I want to take some stuff over there that uh, it's hard to get schematics for. It's hard to get stuff for, and just reverse engineer here and uh, rebuild. So that way, I don't have to worry about finding some place with uh, and paying extra expensive prices just for something that's really not worth it that much. Yes. Sorry. I'm also paying attention, but I'm also doing this claw machine because this guy wants this stupid red cat, and I'm like, fine. I'm fine, everyone. I'm fine. fine. I'm fine. 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 Ark is playing Warhammer 4000 Mechanus. 40k. Nerd. Mechanicus. Mechanicus. I, I had that game. It's yes. It's uh. You ever play XCOM? Nope. I know of it. I know of XCOM. I never got into XCOM. You would think I would. No, you wouldn't. If you knew me, you know me. My RPGs. Yeah, it's a uh, well. It's not quite an art. It is and yet it isn't. It's a very different style. But um, it reminds, But yeah, it's basically the same theme as that. So yeah, I, uh, if you don't care for that genre, I don't recommend it. Although it is a little. Yes. Easy yes. To get into. Oh! I'm listening. Yeah, I would say it's easy to get into some of the knockoffs like that one or Baltech HBS's Baltech because it's not. XCOM, like the two current ones that people are more familiar with, suck. <laughs> they don't suck. They're very good. It's just you'll have there's a very common theme of oh hey I got a ninety percent ninety seven percent chance to hit. Guess what happened? Guess what's most likely going to happen? You miss. No. You miss. It like happens often enough that people have noticed and get very pissed off about it. Oh, oh, I just saw I just saw what happened. Oh, that's. Claw machines. Two claw machines. Two prong claws! I have an yeah. idea. And I have to get this kitty in order to progress the story! So this is plot relevant cats! So, cat, why did you go crazy? All reasons. Oh, no. As you do. And for. And it's plot relevant. I completely missed on that one. 
I have an idea. Picks up Survivor, puts him over on the side. Help! Please don't, please don't. This, is, this, this sounds expensive. I know, I got, I got it from you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do you know how long it took me to forge that thing? How long? I don't know, I lost track. <laughs> oh my god, just, just that moment. Like, this took me seven hours to forge. Wait a minute. I don't, I don't know anything about forging. Eight hours! Okay, 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 okay. Oh! <laughs> Life is pain and suffering. That's the... Someone play the sad French music. I, I, I'd rather play the sad walking away music. This you is the highest bullshit. This you is the know why I said that? Why? Because you should walk away from this if you don't have to. Oh, I can't walk away from it. It's kind of vital. Welcome to Cat Suffering, party of one. Never any torment. You know, Yay. you know the pocket dimension that I used to send people to, which is nothing but a freaking moose eating a bunch of chestnuts, isn't this torturous? Yeah. Don't ask about the moose dimension. It's weird. Don't talk about the moose dimension. Just the moose. I, I get pointing out. The moose like to, uh, oh. moose are belligerent deer, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. The only natural predator are killer whales. Uh. Mm -hmm. Someone actually, I was pointing out, going, you know there are no moose Pokemon. Stantler, deer, deerling, deer! There is no moose Pokemon. Mm. I said, you're going, imagine if they did one set in Canada and there were moose Pokemon. They're legendary. They will fuck you over. Oh god. I don't like thinking about that. <laughs> oh. Ah, yes, the Moose Mon. We don't talk about the Moose. Of course, you know what? The, the way things going, it'll be another uh, Legends Arceus thing, too. I would play that. If it's set in Canada. I play it too. <laughs> if it's set in Canada, I have to go up against Moose Pokemon, knowing the. And it has proper Moose temperament? Oh, that would be fun. <laughs> Angry. <laughs> the proper Moose temperament. Angry. I know that. And I... Yes, Punk Moogle, that is. Or this is a rude game. Mm -hmm. It's made by Sadis. Why? Because they all include because of the two oh. prongs. It's basically a money steal. It's basically the whole point of got these types of claw machines is to take your money. If you ever see yeah. those really big claw machines, yeah, they're a scam. Don't even try. Uh, there's also uh, they're like carnival games. Oh <laughs> like, yeah. I love carnivals. Don't don't trust to win anything at the carnival game. Just milk have a good are... time and don't expect to be part of your money quickly. The milk bottles are weighted. Fair warning. Yeah, I love telling people that. At one card, he's like, "Hey, our weight, our milk bottles aren't weighted." I go, "They're, they're either they have, to, they're not weighted, and you're just being, you're just throwing money away." I don't, I understand why you're, <laughs> I understand why you do it. I just don't care for it as being the customer. No, it was so funny. He was like, "These aren't weighted. These are weighted." I go, "Yeah, but the ones with the hundred dollar bill in the top bottle, and they you say if you can knock that one over, you get the hundred bucks. That one's weighted." I, the the mm -hmm. fun card of games all the time is the one where you have the uh, you just shoot out the little targets. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like make a perfect circle or something, right? Mm -hmm. Even if I don't win anything, I still have a good time just trying to make the center shots. Yep. Oh, my personal favorite ones is the shooting game where it's like, you have to destroy the star. Okay. Yeah, those are the ones I had the, uh, any kind of circus carnival thing. Like, I don't know, I think it's more carnival than circus. I have no idea what it actually is. That's yeah. over at the, um, ca the, the Catholic Church, a few towns over, and rectory, have carnival, have, uh, once for the Italian festival uh -huh. day, they have carnival games. It's fantastic. I have I had a lot of fun. I took uh, I took my my uh, previous housemate and his kid over there, and you know what? We just had a great time. Oh, kid I... got to try con candy for the first time in his life. Did he like it? He loved it. Of course, it's pure sugar. Uh <laughs> oh, yeah. She will reset the claw machine. Yeah, I know she'll recycle the claw machine. But when you walk away from the claw machine, he's like, "Go! F oh, forget it. Just fight this guy." I go, "Okay, I can fight a guy." <laughs> that's oh, that's much easier. Oh, you want me to beat the crap out of a guy? No problem. 
Once again, I'm reminded, any time you have a very annoying mechanic that you, it's required for progression, it's required for progression, uh... Pro provide a backup plan! Yeah, because if people get easily frustrated, people get frustrated very fast, and you're forced to do it, give them an option out, because if it's, they're just going to put down the game and never pick it up again. Ooh, I just went El Cabong on a guy's ass! Alright, I'm waiting for the catch-up. Wait for the El Cabong! Cabong! Come on, uh, you gotta wait for a minute, so... I will be right... The helmet will stop transmitting in five seconds. Be right back. The helmet will stop... Yeah. <laughs> I have to fight the Yakuza. That won't be a problem. I am the Yakuza. Ora, ora, ora! Wait, there's a clip of him actually saying that? Like, in English, or is that in Japanese, and is it in a later game that I haven't played yet, because I've only played up to two? Ora, ora, ora! Oh god, the, the, oh, the, oh god, those clips are hilarious. Ooh, ooh, I need health potion. Inventory, time to eat some food. Eat the chicken! that is actually voiced by Mark Hamill and he doesn't even remember doing that so the new guy who they had for the English dub. In Like of Dragon, uh, Majima's Eng there's English dub, and I'll be honest, I like Matt, I'm, I like Matt Mercer. Matt Mercer is a very good voice actor, and he can do crazy real well. The problem is, it just doesn't fit. It also doesn't fit. Like, the Mark Hamill one is a better fit, but even then, that's not the best fit. It's hard to find someone who can do what you need for Majima. Majima is what is a complex character. Because, um, it's weird. You gotta do crazy. You also have to do, you know, likable, crazy, comedic, and, um, scary as fuck at the same time. What now? Yeah, I wanted to keep that. 
Excuse me, pardon me, sorry, coming through, watch your back. Hey oh, hey oh, hey oh, hey oh. I'm here to save a girl! Out of the way, out of the way, out of the way! Fluffy kitty is a fluffy kitty. We saved a kitty. Kiryu, you are the greatest ever. Wait, wait. What's that one Japanese movie which has like a samurai and he's basically, he's holding a giant, it's like there's that picture of the samurai who's holding the big, holding his katana out while holding a cat. That's what this is reminding me of and I'm in happiness. Except, you know, sans the katana because we don't have a katana. Yet. Oh, guy, I brought you a feline. Oh, I'm dumb. to win at Mahjong? Can't punch people while playing Mahjan. That's rude. plays mahjong little old ladies we do not need to beat the crap out of little old ladies they're innocent unless they have a knife on us when they threaten to shank us then we can fight the little old ladies but again this is completely situational and we are not currently in that situation oh that's for the puffer fish What food do you serve? Oh, you do the steak stuff. I thought there was a bar. I want a bar. 
we have the king of ramen zoom uh, oh yeah there's one up here I also have to pee, which fucking sucks. <laughs> Keep bumping into the door, Kiryu. It's gonna be great. Hi, we're here for alcohol. I wish to drink my weight in booze. This is a lot of alcohol. We're learning about alcohol. Ooh. Ah, now we've drank. Woo! I'll take a Remico. I will take a Virgin Cuban Nibre, please. With a lime wedge. And a Diet Coke. So now we gotta go up and down. Hold on. Uh, let me go to the drugstore and shop for drug stuff. No, I bought plenty of drug stuff. Sorry, madam, I'm a little drunk. Ladies, you're beautiful. So beautiful. I want to touch your butts. You want cheese sticks or wing dicks? I would love some cheese sticks right now, actually. Let me in! Actually, um, be right back, audience. I have to go to the restroom. So, y'all, uh, behave yourselves. Don't do anything stupid. Uh, Survivor, if you come back, you know what to do. Going back, and I brought snacks. Thank you, and I see Survivor's not back Aww. yet. Uh. <laughs> this is gonna be fun.
I'm gonna collect some uh, health drinks because I might need health drinks. I don't know why. Welcome to we're buying a bunch of stuff in vending machines. Ah, joy. Hey, listen, I've discovered I can have unlimited stuff as long as it's 10 of one item. So now I'm just getting 10 of everything. Hmm. So, you know, I'm just, you know, buying stuff before going yep. into the battle. Do I have enough stuff? Let's see. I should buy more food. Should I buy more food? <laughs> what are you saying? These are just health. These are just kind of health items, right? They're like health items as well as like these boost your XP. These help your sprint. You know that kind of stuff. Yeah, like like, like in the previous games. Okay. Yeah. So, that's what I'm doing. Um, the big thing is I usually binge on is health items, and like I take packs. Like depending on like what's the name. Like for example, in Pokemon, I would. I get like six of every health potion, six of every Yeah. Or multiple and like working multiple to six is basically I need to do a team based format. So I would recommend do that so that we don't blow all your money on boost and, I mean it's a hundred dollars no. a it's a hundred dollars a hundred yen per yeah. thing, and we have like over five hundred. Oh god, I have to talk to this man again. Yeah, do we have any inventory limits? Uh it's I can get Ever, I think it's so far. It seems like every item is limited to ten of that certain item. Ah, in that case, max out the health, the health drinks, and then uh, maybe five of each, depending on how often you use boosts. Mhm. Mm Boy. Oh yeah. That guy's trying to scam that guy, and now he's pissed off. I see. Well, sounds like it's time for Kirio negoti negotiation manager to step in. His negotiation skills involve him punching people. Yeah. And is there a problem with that? See, uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but, um, Kiryu, very good at negotiation. Nobody, nobody, at the, it's like the axe negotiation, well, what was it, actually, that wasn't nice negotiation, what I refer to that as? Oh, the axe of reason. Mm. I once came up with a magic item, it was called the axe of reason, that gives you bonuses to, uh, diplomacy. The more times you've used it, the more blood on it. Because <laughs> no one argues with the acts of reason. <laughs> no one argues with the orb of the orb of shut the hell up. Yeah. <laughs> or the sit down gun. <laughs> or the fuck you knife. Yeah. Every knife is a fuck you knife if you know what to do. Ah, these guys are fancy businessmen who fell for a scam and are in Osaka business. What have I even well, given? I better not have been given cult pamphlets. Mm -hmm. Close enough. 
what was the pamphlets? A copy of Counselor Sakai's Magnum Op Sake. 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 I'm American. I don't pronounce Japanese well. Magnum Opus. You Unleashed. It's currently a nationwide bestseller. Oh, it's oh, a self-help self book! <sighs> Has anyone ever found a self-help book that actually helped them? I remember there was um that book, I think, was it Andrew Carnegie put out about, uh, like, the high... The high successful habits of uh, something that we meant, which is not terrible. I remember it not being bad. It's a pleasant work. No, no, least. no. Sorry. It was um, influ something in influencing people. That one was actually kind of decent. How to make friends and influence other people. Yeah, I remember yeah. that one. Yeah, that actually has some good advice. More so does the, so the, the Art of War. <laughs> yeah. You know how well, many business... I, like the art, I like the Art of War more. Yeah. Do you know how many people in business use Art of War as their, <laughs> as their business model? Well, I mean... It works. <laughs> it works. I mean, it's because business is warfare. It's just, uh... It's... Which more war warfare is diplomacy by any other means. It's a repleasant work of the esteemed counselor to show that the world is more... To, there's more to life than the trappings of good wealth. And yet this man's rich. There's yeah. more to life than good wealth coming from the rich man. Does anyone mind yeah. me? Does anyone mind me see the uh, fumes in my head? The, the hypocrisy? Yes. The hypocrisy. The hypocrisy of it all. Also, I don't like that Mita, the, his assistant, has the same type of glasses I wear in real life. I'm like, why do those glasses look oddly familiar? Takes off my own, looks at them. Ah, that's why. Yeah, it's like how uh, my favorite thing in Dragon Age 2 was, was someone was the dragon <laughs> pointing out. You no, know, sometimes you just gotta jump off a cliff. You never know if you throw rings in the fly. Easy to say if you're a dragon. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Jade Way, I, uh, for liking my uh, obvious. Be calling out the obvious. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Yeah, no, I just took off my glasses to clean them mostly, but to check on it, I'm sitting here going, "Hold on." Looks up at him. Looks down at my glasses. Looks up. We have the same glasses, practically the same frames and everything, except mine have the uh, bolts noticeable. Yep. Ah, I see. You too have the shit insurance, and therefore have to buy the cheap frames plan. Oh no. I'll no, I understand because I used to have that. The uh, <coughs> long, long time ago, we got an old friend and a uh, and a as a client who's an automatrist. Mm. Here's what we do: we trade bills. <laughs> yeah, no. That's, my one issue uh, when it comes to glasses is like I can. That's why I want the uh, sunglasses that uh, Crowley wears in Good Omens. Is because I always am prone to looking out through through the side, and then everything's all like bright, or in this case, blurry. And I'm like, Ugh. I just want frame. I want glasses that wrap around my eyes. And if one person suggests contacts, I don't like the idea of poking myself in the eye. And if another person suggests LASIK, no, oh God, no. God no, you're still awake for that. They just I numb mean, you. I'm like, I'm what? awake. I'm fully conscious during this whole thing. Nope, 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 yeah. nope. I'm not saying there isn't benefits to laser surgery. I would, however, decide in the words LASIK with a K gets put in there. I immediately question my question. Why am I going to a place that's putting a laser in my eye for the lowest bidder? Listen, if you want to see my reaction to the idea of doing anything that's like LASIK surgery, watch my clip of me doing fucking Dead Space 2 and that put stick a needle in the eye part. Yeah, oh no, that's just that's just nightmare fuel. But yes, I I don't besmirch I don't besmirch people on one side or the other. I just say, look, laser surgery is for someone with money. If you don't have money and you're still doing this, I hope you chose a good uh Yeah. You have, it's very the fact that you can do it while still awake, that's um a <laughs> uh, vibrating fear. Oh my god. Kiryu, I love you. Kiryu, I love you. He's skimming through the book. There's not a single original thought in here. It's all just common sense, self-help fluff. <laughs> yep, it's just lots of vague, <laughs> it's lots of vague, vague verbiage it's so vague. <laughs> and stolen quotes. It's just like I read this and I go, "The Oracle of Nicaea is more is less vague than this." <laughs> is it Nicaea? No, it's not the Oracle of Nicaea. No, it's the Oracle of Delphi. Delphi. The Oracle of Delphi is more <laughs> is less vague. Uh, well, get, get, hold on, did they actually say one of the lines from from what's in the book, do or people, did it just all? It's just it's him. all just summarized. He's, he's just critiquing. Do people really buy this garbage? I go, carry you. I don't know how to tell you this, but there's an episode of this TV show called Family Guy. It isn't out yet in your world, 
where one character writes a really shitty self-help book and becomes a billionaire. Yeah. And then he basically regrets it because, you know, oh, I sacrificed this for my art. Oh, God, not one of those. <laughs> Actually, let's see if there is... Uh... I say that knowing my father was one of those people. Ugh. I love, I love my father, but... Mm, he very much believed that you have to uh, suffer for your art to be considered an artist. I can carry 99 of these kitty cats. Aww. But yeah, uh... <laughs> I'm sitting here going, Dark Temptation Rising. No! <laughs> no I was just saying, to, get, to, give you, to give you a clarification, he wanted to move me, my brother, my, my, me, me who's newborn, my brother, who was, who was five, and my mother, into the, into the projects, because he'll think it'd be good for his art. I'm glaring at the microphone, pretending it's you right now. The man, it's like, uh, the man is, um, comes from a well-off family. Mm. Oh, like, not well-off as in very rich, I'm thinking well-off as in upper middle class. Uh, we need well off. Him. Point is, though, yes, stare harder. <laughs> this man does not understand what he's talking about when he says that. We need to find the man in the padded vest. Oh my god, my father. Anywho, moving on. Anyway, so, back, back to Mahjong. I thought there were going to be little old ladies, because I remember little old ladies love Mahjong. Why is there only men? What is this bullshit? Boy. What's your rate? Huh? How much do you usually pay for? Uh, was it 5,000 yen or 10,000 yen? I can't remember. Yes, yeah, so I've already made the comment that, uh, be beware of the little old lady in the Mahjong shop who's, uh... Even, no what? matter wh who knows yeah. the game inside and out, and just pretending like, oh, it's okay, dearie, sit down, I'll teach you, and then take, because she will take you for your money. Uh -huh. oh, she yeah. is, uh, very good. Oh, yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Well, I'm just wary, like, where's, where's the little, where's the little, where's the grandma? Where's, where's the grandma of this group? There is no grandma. She's maybe, she, maybe she's off taking care of the grandkids. Here to that, she's in the back counting money. <laughs> A hundred grand to get the information? Yeah. <sighs> okay, fine. A hundred grand to buy you fucking... Okay, fine. That's okay. That's like a thousand... <laughs> well, that's still a lot of money. Oh, what's this? Do you know what I can do with a, how, many, how many tacos I can buy with 100... 100... With 100 yen... Grand, uh, 100k yen? I don't know, because I don't know what the going rate of tacos is in here in Japan. I just now imagined a taco stand in Japan, and I don't know why, but I'm enjoying it. So this man can identify a bullet without some- Hurra. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hi, I'm Kat. I watch a lot of CSI, and I remember that really awesome scene from freaking The Great Mouse Detective. Where are your magnifying glasses and or your telescopic lenses and or your microscopes? You need those to understand the bullets better. But you it, said CSI. The problem is, though, uh, no. Okay, what <laughs> about the really badass scene in freaking The Great Mouse Detective? Yes, I know. It's a, shut up. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a no, I, I was I, I was going to comment on that. I was going to comment on CSI because, uh, look, it's not NCIS level of uh, crazy <laughs> when it comes to technology. However, CSI is basically, you might as well just be Judge Dredd at that point, except instead of police officers, it's CSI agents. I am the law. They do everything and anything except uh, the last person I talked to actual CSI when our car got broken into. They, um, we had a good laugh about why is everything so dark? Why is everything this? Why is that guy wearing sunglasses in, in the middle and just going, where's this? Yeah, so, like, there's so much wrong. We just kept on a good laugh about, like, there's so much wrong with this show. Here's a fun fact Especially about Miami. Me. Well, Miami's one of my favorites because it's just like. When I watch Miami, I go, okay, one, this is touristy Miami. This isn't legit Miami. Then they did do episodes yep. set in legit Miami, which I was like, okay, good for them. And I go, why is everything yellow? <coughs> did someone yeah. piss on the lens? <laughs> I was like, but it's Florida. Florida isn't this weird tinge of yellow 24-7. It's like maybe this tinge of yellow, depending on what time of year it is, depending on the cloud coverage, and depend. there's like multiple dependings. It's not like this all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the uh, the point I was getting at was um, with, with CSI as a series, mm -hmm. it's like you, you expect all this high 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 um high technology, all this amazing equipment. No, the guy came out with like a wooden box of chemicals. 
Yep. I'm just like, yep, just gonna sit here and do my job. <laughs> that mind me, I'm just covering everything in powders. Yeah, it's, uh... The fact that, have you noticed that between that, Law and Order, and a whole bunch of other shows, you know when, you know when they, you can tell the budget clearly was better than the department they're representing, is when they have that clear plexiglass board oh. that they write on. Oh. I hate those things. Oh, I hate those, period. I, weird things in sci-fi that movies that annoy me. When things are printed on see-through plastic, I'm like, this annoys me. Yeah. I know you're like, trying to go for a futuristic I'll go, I'll go. look and you had a budget, but printing things on clear lash plastic is not the best for legibility, let's be perfectly honest here. Mm -hmm. You can't read on clear ass plastic, you gotta put up against something solid to be able to read it better. Ooh. Awesome. Welcome back, Zephron. Ooh, look at these camera angles. Camera angles. Zoom. Welcome to CSI Santa Buri. Yeah! I deserve I, I deserve to be judged for that one. Can we get to chapter 5 so I can get to my husband, please? I just want my husband. I want to give him kisses on the face. Bonk. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. What do we do next? We make sweet love to a giant pile of custard. Ooh, custard sounds good right now. <gasps> oh, oh, this is an interrogation. Never mind. Sekuzi or is this different guy? You can't tell the sunglasses are. Distracting me. Guy with sunglasses is part of the Omni Alliance, which is apparent is part of the Omni Alliance, oh, which okay. is the uh, people who were the bad guys in the first game, and kind of in Zero, um, who basically have the reason why the crazy that happened in the first game was because there was a splinter group in the Omni Alliance that caused some bad shit, and the Omni Alliance wants to work with the Tojo Clan, that's Kiryu's people. I'm actually absorbing this and remembering this shit. Can someone please be proud of me? <laughs> Uh, what was I gonna say? So, uh, Kiryu's clan wants to basically make friends with the to with the Omni Alliance because the all the crazy that's going on and they need strength and power and it's just like it's a lot of stuff. Are, did, did you pay attention? You, you taking notes? Survivor, there will be a quiz afterwards. Fire? Did I break you mentally? Yeah. Thank you, Monk Vogel, for being proud of me. Kiss. Sir, this is a non-smoking zone. Oh wait, smoking laws aren't really a thing in Japan. Well, they are a thing, but they aren't a thing. They're not like America. Or Canada. Gorilla,の肩も強いな。真似しくさったらすぐに同じや。分かっとんな。別所さん。別所さん。もう極道と警察が喧嘩する時代は終わったんですよ。He has a point though. I think like the yakuza and the police are friendly or something, I don't know. Man, could you be any more widespread? Where is it forbidden as well? I don't know. Somewhere. Where did you buy that puffy jacket? I need it. What are the dice for in Mahjong? I'm confused. No idea. Oh good, I'm surprised. 30! 300 grand? Where am I supposed to get 300 grand? 
Shh, I know I'm on 400 grand. I'm sitting on 400 grand, but. Shh, shh, shh. He doesn't know that. Yeah. Or does he need to? Okay. <laughs> I could pay. But I have. But luckily, I have a way out. See, this is what I like about this Yakuza. It's like, if you are unable to do thing, we have workarounds. Do you know what I could do with 300k? I could buy a fancy hat! I mean, it's, it's an excellent use of money. <laughs> but what's, uh, Huck's driving of a hat? I'm thinking top hat with steampunk goggles. We're going full steampunk hat on, your, uh, on Kiryu right now. I was thinking a uh, fancy church hat. Have some, you seen some of those church, hat, church oh. hats? Uh, royal wedding, or are you just talking standard church? Let's say royal. Let's go with royal wedding. Oh like, god, they're so somewhere that, because yeah, that's uh, that, that'll be the max on the sliding scale. Come on. Beat up these yakuza. They're not yakuza cat. They're just a bunch of thugs who thought it'd be fun to beat you up. Okay, that's it. Bring around the rosy. <laughs> I just beat someone up with someone else. You can't buy love for 300k! I'm sorry, I don't know how to tell you this, but uh... Uh, 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 mail order brides are a lot more expensive than 300k yen, I think. I'm not looking that up. No, what I recommend? I, I would not recommend you do that. Don't, don't have that in your search. On Listen, your search I have history. weird enough shit on my search history involving Majima. I don't need any weirder things. Thank you. Yes, I'm buying a crap ton of food and health supplies. And you can't stop me. Okay, where's the nearest restaurant? Cause I need I need food. I need healing. Okay, I need to go there. There is a Smile Burger there, and there is a Kokiman here. We'll go to the Kokiman. I don't remember what Kokiman sell, but Kokiman sound nice. Say Kokiman. It's a fun word. Say it. Kokiman. 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 It's okay, if you finally find a word that is good to stim with, use it. We did that for Date. Date. That is way too expensive. We just want soup. Sir, we just want soup. Yeah, we're gonna have soup. Enjoy the soup. We would just like the soup, please, thank you. Me. Soup. This is the expensive sushi restaurant. Why did I go to the expensive oh sushi re soupy restaurant? Sushi restaurant. Sa ikuka. Arigatou 300k, we could buy a small apartment. You are oh aware, God. everyone, we're talking yen, not American dollars, or francs, or euros, or... Gil. I was sitting here going, what's the money you used in Final Fantasy? Gil, cat, remember? Yeah. You played Final Fantasy 15. You remember that? That was a great time. You made you you looked at you were lusting over Gladio, you were lusting over Ignis, and no one was there to watch it because you only had on average like one or two viewers. I have nothing against that. That was my earlier days of streaming. Boy. You following with back yeah. home? Asking about the price of almonds? Pro yeah. local ball keep talking about almonds too. Almonds is almonds a sex maneuver? Are we talking drugs? You're asking the wrong person. I was about to say sex maneuvers definitely not the ace will not know. I don't know if it's a drug thing because neither of us do drugs. Well, the only drugs I do is the ones prescribed by my doctor. As That's well it. <laughs> Once prescribed for my doctor, as well as this caffeinated beverage, which is actually water right now. So. <sighs> oh, 
Are you about to jump over the bridge, sir? I don't know how to tell you this. The part of the bridge you want to jump over is just, like, leads to a floor down. That's not going to cause any real damage. If you want to go over here, if you want to enjoy the view of the lake. I like how there are people in Japan, right? I mean, I know this is 2006, so people were a lot more considerate. They were, like, wearing masks and shit. Hey, guys, look, there are people wearing masks and social distancing. It's like they know. Yeah. I will be right back. My dog wants out. He wants to poop! Yep. Screwed up real bad. It cost my job, and as soon as the cash started drying up, my wife walked out of me. Hey, congratulations. You're having a shit life. Welcome to the life of a millennial. Anyway. Give him the book. Huh? Oh. Whoa, some people are that pathetic. Look more than I do. Same here. Almonds. Almonds. One day I will have my Majima husband. And on that day I will be a very happy person. bitter. I'm just saying. Just a wee bit bitter. Oh, one day I will find H Majima husband and I will see him and I will love him and tell him the true meaning of happiness. It's coconut. You missed it. You missed me swooning over Majima. Oh, Majima's back? No. <laughs> I'm lamenting. Hmm. Uh, there goes my hopes. <laughs> yeah. So this guy is selling almonds, but they're not actually almonds. They're most likely a drug thing. Because I hi... 100,000 yen for almonds is a little sus, right? Eh. It is oh. sus. Okay. Sussy bakas? Sussy bakas. We have sussy bakas, everyone. You know? Wait, hold on. Am I upping my stats like crazy and becoming a god amongst men? Yes. yes. I'm trying to make Kiryu the badass motherfucker that I know he can be and I am proud of him for. Yes. Yes. Do I have to be- am I annoyed by douchebag with a guitar? Also, yes. I mean, I'd be surprised if you work. It's like, oh my god, he's not douchebag with a guitar. Let's beat him. Let's well, break shoot. him. Alright, thugs, you wanna fight me? You wanna fight me? <laughs> So yeah, so there's no different fighting styles anymore, so that's nice. I like that actually. Now I don't have to do multiple switching back and forth to different things. I like that. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> 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 
thug. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, just one more thug. What? Oh. Now yeah. I was waiting for the, uh, beat, the finish beat on these thugs. There we go. Hey. We killed him. And we got money. Yay! What's better than murder? Oh no. There's a woman who needs protecting. Quick! Well then, that's more important. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Oh, how I enjoy these cute little outbursts. You're every... Kiryu, I need you to break out the gun. The knife. The stabbing device. I don't like this man. A hundred million for my number. Really? Madam. Sir, I'm more expensive than... Oh. Ooh, I like this girl. She has standards. Good for her. Also, I like your outfit. You have a very nice outfit. Oh, I know damn well who he is. He's a sex-starved politician who thinks his fame buys him action. <laughs> I really like this girl. <laughs> she might just be a side character, but I like her. I like her. Whoa, everything just went out so quickly. I think my I think my A button's uh, pop broke or something. Who cares? A fight is happening. <laughs> That's it! Kiryu, protector of women and the innocent. Eater of the rich. I didn't know. I think that's just a glitch. I don't know why that caused that. Alright. I'm about to fight an old man. I'm okay with this. Oh no, I'm not fighting an old man. I'm fighting his assistants. Aw, oh, not as fun. Punch, punch. Oh, dick. Punch, punch. I'm just kicking this man around like he's a football. Ooh! I heard him. Oh, they're loving each other. Another oh, politician, just another creepy slime ball. Damn right. <laughs> uh, is this a bribe? Yes, it is a bribe. There's more to life than money, and that's why you're willing to throw it around to shut people up so they don't talk about your perverted ways, you master pervert. Thinking though, there's no rhyme or reason to life. You just gotta roll with the punches. And if that's a way, if that was a way to think could succeed, then why couldn't I? I felt my confidence coming through. Well, I mean, that's one way for a self-help book to help. Uh, what's going on? Okay, I fixed the thing. All right. Okay, I wanted to write that book. Wait, really? You gotta be joking. I ain't that pervy old bag of bones was Counselor Sayaki. <laughs> oh, what are the chances? Oh, the world we live in. It's a small world after all. Okay. 
<laughs> Sorry, I've got some business to take care of. But you enjoy a nice dinner with your wife. Good deal. Well, you won't be needing this. You take it. Why do you have a gun, sir? Sir. Sir, why do you have a gun? Did my internet go out? No, my internet's fine. Then how come no one can hear me? I'm confused. You bet. I just realized I'm an idiot. I left my I left my butte on when I went to get my dog from back from inside. I legit hmm. was wondering about that, and I thought my internet been, died, and I was checking. I've been on talking it. for the last five minutes, and I haven't. You want to give me a summary? <laughs> no, the joke's passed. Uh, the joke's passed. The joke's passed. Okay. Oh God, we're professionals here. Hey, how long does Absolutely it take it? How long does it take for me to learn to remember to unmute myself? <laughs> well, here's the joke. You'll never learn. <laughs> I feel called out in that one, by the way. I mean, yeah, it, as it happens. All right. It's time to go fight a man about some almonds. I'm walking slow and dramatic so it could be sexy looking. Slow and dramatic, you say? Slow and dramatic. Because, you know, drama. E. Sir, I know about your almond addiction. They're not even good almonds. They're basic ass bitch almonds. You should have got some smoked almonds. At least those would have been better. Boy. Oh. A thing. We can do with um, basic almonds. There's a bit you can do, but you have to make you have to use something with them. Exactly. We all know they're not actually talking about actual almonds. We're having fun with this. We're not stupid. Eh. Okay. Can't wait for it to actually just be almonds. Like hmm. what? <laughs> Like you're, you're, why are you people fighting over almonds? They're almond. Well, remember Yakuza Zero? It was all about real estate. Yeah. But his loyalty to the Omni Alliance, his fifth chair, is what got him to where he is today. Now he's at the top of the food chain. Can't remember when he wasn't an officer. Oh, we're learning backstory. Everyone, take notes. I have to. Yeah. Yes. No, you do not have to take notes. This isn't D and D. Oh, Kiryu, you sexy son of a bitch. Ow. Damn those phones, you little. You were the coolest kid if you had the razor phone. A hundred million? That's not possible. No, oh. Wait, oh. 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 Here he was a hundred mil on his head. Gotcha. Oh. So if I beat the crap out of everyone. Oh, he's. He, <laughs> Kiryu just went like a hundred million yen. That's kind of cheap for me, ain't it? <laughs> I love the cojones right now, Kiryu. Yeah. Pause it. Pause it for a second. Pause. I just want. This just reminds me of a. This just reminds me of a really good. Uh, Really good line from Babylon 5. Look, oh. look, I'm going to leave. If you don't let me, everyone at this table is going. No one, I will, no one at this table other than me will be standing up. Then I have to go. I hate butchering my own lines. I'm okay. oh, sorry. Everyone at this table will be, will be, will be on the ground. And five minutes from that, everyone in this room will be on the, will be, will be on the ground. Oh, you mean like right now? Oh my God! Yeah, there's, right so now. Many, there's so many objects to grab. I have weapons. I have weapons. Yeah. I can hurt you with these weapons. I'm surrounded by a table of mod. Uh, <laughs> let's uh. I'm surrounded get by some cooked targets. I got. I'm surrounded by fucking chairs. Do you know what it's like to have chairs around me? I'm like a WWE professional wrestler up in here. Oh, these. Y'all made a mistake. <laughs> you left me alone in this room with weapons. Oh, there's no weapons in here. Grab some mahjong table. You're saying, bitch. It's like, I'm not, you're, I'm not trapped in here with you. You're, you're trapped, trapped in here, in here with me. me. <laughs> I'm surrounded by blood objects. See, this is, what, this is what happens when you say, okay, um, 
I have Braven Taller as a feat. Oh, uh, and yeah. And a room full of tables and chairs. I was about to say, yeah, this is why Tavern Brawler is a must for any fighter and monk. I wouldn't call it a must, but uh, it's definitely made for fun times. <laughs> Well, if you want to um, have fun at a, Are you going to go into a tavern at any point? Yes. Will there be a fight? Probably. Yeah. I'm fun. <laughs> so for my uh, character, Usler, the uh, curse to look like a goat man, uh, Goliath Barbarian. I gave him Tavern Brawler. He's, no, he's not a barbarian. He's a monk, right? And my, yeah. I, I go... And everyone who... A lot of people who do monk fighting style, they do the Ura Ura Uras, the, the Shonen monk stuff. You want to know how he fights as a monk? As a monk? Tell me, how does he play the monk? Tavern Brawler. <laughs> he basically is just like, if you've ever watched Irish bar fight, uh, if you've ever seen bar fights, yeah. he just fights like that. He just fights like an Irish barman. And that's what I'm like, and I explained that to a guy once, and he's like, question, do you have the feet Tavern Brawler? Yeah, just for that, why? <laughs> Amazing. I love it. But yeah, uh, the reason why I don't always want it, it's like I it's always it all comes down to does this person intend on going into a bar fight? <laughs> or does it tend to like to be using a lot more of the scenery to fight people with? Then yeah. yes. If not, or if they if I have some other some other build in mind, I don't I don't immediately jump on it. Like yeah. also for... it, like I said, it all depends on the character. What yeah. kind of character you're building. Well the monk is also a drunken monk. Which is why I was like, oh yeah, I could do Drunken Monk style, or I could make it like Drunk Tavern Brawling. <laughs> it's just like how uh, I had that option for my uh, Oath of Vengeance Paladin. I can do two things. <laughs> I could either maximize me, get, take a feat that'll maximize me uh, how, great, how good I am with heavy armor, or I could get this other feat, get half plate, and just become Batman. Teleporting Batman. You went, became teleporting Batman, didn't you? I I did not become teleporting Batman. But I will, I did stow the idea for late for another time. Because eventually I will be teleporting Batman. Yeah. No. Uh, the tavern brawler Usler. Uh, it's like he's a drunken monk, and I go. He fights like he's in a tavern brawl slash Three Stooges, which was another reason why I did the tavern brawler thing because I wanted so, to do you know those funny things that happens in Three Stooges comedies. Yep. Or you know. I'm sorry. I'm just. I'm. I'm also thinking of uh, Jackie Chan. This is how he fights. Uh, he's also. Uh, I think technically the fighting style is a bit. Uh. uh he did. A, style. He did uh, two movies at least, which are about drunken. Uh, which were about the drunken martial arts, and I did use that for reference as well. <laughs> like, yeah. Hold on. Alcohol. Because <laughs> no, wait, because it does present. You don't have to necessarily be drunk you to use his fighting style. Yeah. You do have to have a. Uh, the idea that anything is a prize of weapon if you if you think of it that way. Yeah, if I remember, just gotta think real clever, cleverly. If I remember correctly, um, yeah, we're supposed to be paying attention to this plot. We are, but we're not. Um, if I remember correctly, uh, the guy who created Drunken Monkey Fighting Style came up with the idea after watching a bunch of monkeys accidentally breaking into sake barrels or some kind of alcohol barrel and getting drunk off it and watching their movements and went, "There's a fighting style in this." We're making it. <laughs> Pretty much. I don't like this man. He wears an ugly suit and he's using a fan so incorrectly. Even for Japan standards. Oh! I want to Scrooge McDuck my face into that. That's a- that's a billion? That's a- that's a billion yen, people. That's a billion yen. That's a billion yen. Billion. B. Billion. You'll see. Oh. Uh. And now that he says he's going to make it rain in Kamachiro, what's that mean? Oh no. Oh no. We go. Are they gonna do the John Wick route of like this is how much money is on your head? No. It's a oh. make, make it rain in Kamachiro. Okay, so in the end of uh, Yakuza Kiwami 1, a building exploded and 10 million yen just basically fell all over Kamachiro. Right? Yeah. And basically it was pure fucking chaos because all the civilians were grabbing the money. Oh, oh, I'm gonna do that again. Do that again. Where are we? Oh, Club Sunshine! <gasps> Club Sunshine! Oh, my oh. old haunting grounds! I wanna go in, I wanna go in, let me in, let me in, let me in, let me in! Let's go in! can't go in yet. I have to oh. wait till chapter 5. 
Disappointment! Damn. Yeah, the one good line from freaking Kevin Sorbo. Uh, what? I love Kevin. I like Kevin Sorbo, uh, even in Hercules, but uh, Him as I will say it was very uh, well, how, how would you prefer, how would you call his acting? Um, what in it was a little hammy. <laughs> Oh, I just hate him as a real person. Oh, I didn't know that. I, I don't oh. know anything about most, about most of the actors I follow. I kind of like. I, oh, no. I, I, in some ways, I just don't want to because of that. Because oh, some people uh, are assholes. Oh, no. He's pure uh, conservative molten asshole. You would think. Being, oh. You would think being in a show that, you know, pointed out all the flaws of all this yeah, junk, he would actually, you know, learn something from it. No. Now. Lucy Lawless, on the other hand, still the badass bisexual that she is. She got arrested. Oh, she got arrested for fighting whalers. Oh yeah, the um. Or was it the oil she played, jelly? She, yeah, it's what. Yeah, I'm saying about Zena. Zena. God, I miss that show. I love that show. I'm gonna be perfectly honest here, and I'm about to ruffle some feathers. Zena was better she than Hercules. No, they're not. <laughs> not with me. Xena was better than Hercules, and I don't know if it's because Hercules was on earlier than Xena, and like they were trying to stick to the mythology of Hercules, but Xena was just better. Fight me. <laughs> you're asking. You're asking for things I will not do. Yeah. Even a hundred yen would be like. It's the rich guy. Uh. Oh, the one of my lady friends had a connection to a real estate company who said they had the deeds, <sighs> and oh, he lost all his money because a woman scammed him. I should be a sh I should feel sad for this rich man. Also, Bruce Campbell was in anyway. Zena, which is also great. He was a uh, yeah. Bruce he Campbell's was, good. That's a good one. Bruce Campbell was like the Robin Hood-like character who was the greatest thief ever. Oh, I forgot about that episode. Uh, he was in a lot. He was in a bunch of episodes. He was really popular in the one episode, and since he was fans with Sam Raimi's brother, who was the one who did the Xena series. No, no, wait, it was Sam Raimi who did the series. Wait, what? Hold on, math. I broke. I'm gonna give him a hundred thousand yen because he gave it to me before, and he deserves it. Aw, thanks for the charismatic photo. I hate the charismatic photo. All my friends scattered like spiders to a fl Oh, So did you learn that a lot of your friends because only liked you because you're rich and not because you were a fun person? It's a shame. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. So you finally learned that some people just flock to you because of money, fame, power, people that you have connections with? Oh my god, it's like the streaming community. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I shouldn't say anything about the streamer community. I'm in the community. Mind you, I just like to do collabs because they're fun. Especially when it's people that I know I can mesh well with. It's like, ah, yeah. collab. We collab now. Which, by the day, next Friday, I will be coll collabing with a wonderful little streamer known as Candied Sea Pig, who I'm gonna just shout her out right now so you guys can give her a follow. Hopefully I said that. Did that right? Oh, wait. That's the wrong name. Fudge. They rebrand? No, it's... I didn't... I know there's a space somewhere in Candied Sea Pig. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold oh, on. Oh, yeah. So I'm all the good chat. This, this is where I'm like... Candied... Oh, there's a underscore after Candied. Okay. I, I knew it had to be something simple. Uh, by the way, a uh, shout out... To Candied underscore C Pig, who was playing Power Wash Simulator last time they were streaming. Uh, she and I will be doing a collab together. We will be playing a wedding designing game on Friday. Mm. You you are cordially invited to the wedding of the century. <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> They're talking about Shine. 
もう放射院に入るって伝えちゃいましたし今日からすぐ仕事を任されてでは給料は放射院の倍を出させてもらおうそれでどうだねえば倍ですかわかりました放射院はやめてあなたのお店で働きます<笑> ah. I think it's opening up! Oh, you're gone! I'm sorry, I'm just so happy to see you so happy. You see me happy? <laughs> <laughs> I know what's coming. <laughs> For shine. Oh, yeah, because Club Sunshine is. Wow. Oh, my God. What core yells all the time? It's Yuki! It's Yuki! What could it be if he wasn't Yumi? I don't care! It's her! She's Masa, it's Yumi! It's her! It's her! Oh, it's our little baby! Where is freaking Kor when we need him? He would be gushing right now. Yeah. I, I would I would ask that, but I'm, I'm not being respectful to Kor. What? I, I, I don't know where Kor is today, but I want to be respectful to Kor. He's probably, he's probably dealing with things. D&D. &D. Oh. Kor does D&D &D on Sundays. That's why you're my Sunday oh, guy. Right. Oh, Yumi. Sorry. It's Yuki! I'm sorry, I'm gushing over little Yuki. I remember when she was a little training hostess. And we trained her. I am bouncing in real life. She's so sweet now. That or you need new... Oh, God. You got the wrong girl. Hear you. Run the cabaret. Run it. It will make us happy. And by us, me. Me. 90% me. I will be happy. Hello, Koyuki. Hi everyone, welcome to my new obsession. ちなみにスタッフもオーナーである私一人です。だから最近は店を回すことができなくて、ずっと営業できずにいたんです。追加スタッフもなかなか見つからなくて、ようやく探し出せたのがキリタニさんなんです。そういえば、キリタニさん来ませんね。そうそう、ストゥーブスチェアマイクラッシュ、ハイレイ。そのキリタニという男。おお、おお、キリタニ。Everyone announcing the server. Cat is gushing。そう、そんな。どうします? <笑> Well, just like in other shows, it is time to take over. <laughs> hmm. Did I? I don't know. Should you? Are you about to add everyone? Fire! <laughs> this is not the appropriate time. Is it? Is no. it really? No. Oh. Hear you. He's thinking. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Oh, I love these girls. Yes, you're doing it, Kiryu! I'm controlling you! I will do it! We're doing it. We're doing it! It's not that hard! Majima could do it! だが。お願いします、キリュウさん。今日は久々にうちのお客さんが来てくださる大切な日なんです。楽しみに待っててくれたお客さんたちを裏切りたくないんです。うん。<笑> 
Don't complain. Kitty. I say yes. I control him, so yes. The answer is yes. But just this once. Oh, Kiryu. Fortunately. I love how he's like, only this one time. Oh, Kiryu. Kiryu, I love how you think it's only one time. Why didn't you guys call Majima? Majima could have helped you. I'm just saying, Majima, Majima most likely would have a field day doing this. Listen, Majima was in control of two cabaret clubs and in the 1980s while looking adorable. I think I'm happy, guys. You guys think I'm happy? Uh-huh. What's this style affects your ability to do a job? Uh, escorted. We'll already be seated with a customer when you open, relax, recovering HP factor, da da da. Feisty, more likely to have a trouble event, does not recover as much HP when not assigned to a table. Uh, okay, okay. Advertising your openings may or may not bring new girls into the roster. However, scouting fees gradually increase, so to be strategic about your advertisement. I gotta be strategic! Fire! How are you at strategy? Are you muted? <laughs> After leveling up your platinum hostess, you may trigger a special event that can deepen your relationship with them. Oh. These performance enhanced fans, you make sure you're giving your shifts to the best girls. Dressing for success. Cast on duty. Running the club. Let's do this shit. Oh. Alright, I don't need to know how to do this. This is just like in Zero. I know it like the back of your head. Cat is best girl. I love how you think I'm best girl. Oh! Oh my god! Screen grab. Survivor, look! I'm look, looking. Look! Kiryu! Tuxedo! <laughs> I keep forgetting just how built. <laughs> it's just it's very awkward looking. Not awkward, but uh, interesting to look at Kiro in a suit and tie, in a fancy suit and tie. Oh, everyone's calling me best girl now. Don't call me that. I mean, I am, but yeah. Us. Oh, oh, Kiryu. Oh, Kiryu. Uh, oh, Kiryu. Kiryu. I'm taking screen grabs for a certain person known as Kor, who's going to be a happy panda. Yo. Eh? Oh god, this is just like in Zero. It's just a little bit more updated. I am a happy girl. Ooh, he's talking and he's sexy in my ear. Oh, these girls are all sad. Oh, here's the best girl. Everyone look at her. She's the pretty. Here she is, Miss America. Waiting for the signals. This is so sad. This is so sad, because I remember when I used to play it, the money would stream like crazy, and I have to remind myself that this is the first time- is the first night. The first night's always scuffed. Yeah. Just like your first night streaming. Yeah. Uh... Give gift. There you go, the guest has improved in moods. Guest's less very satisfied. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, Zephyr, I know, I know he does look odd, but I think I know why. It's because it, it's, it's because of the angle. It just makes him very look uh, broad-shouldered. I mean, I look broad-shouldered. Uh, yes, I'm giving gifts. Yes, I'm making people look happy. Oh, I'm making people happy. Nothing. There's nothing wrong with that. Yours, 
God. It gets when you're in a slow lag, it is so slow. Yeah. Apologies, he was very rude. It's okay, sweetie. So what you doing this week, Survivor? Uh, you planning anything fun for the weekend? Well, other than this, I was planning to sit down and do some measures, but uh... <laughs> Did you hi- is the shame pile intimidating you again? Same time not intimidating, I just keep forgetting to go back to it. I, I especially have some of the parts I need. Uh, you want like, your ice refilled. Alright. Oh Otherwise, god, no, the hands are... The only thing I have planned today is shoveling. <laughs> oh, Kiryu. You handsome man. Just... Survive- uh, Core, I'm stealing Kiryu for like 20 minutes. Listen, we haven't found my husband at all in this game yet, so I have to steal him. Uh oh, something bad's about to happen. Uh oh. I just saw the gr the gray cloud of depression. Is like, does that mean something bad's gonna happen? Yep. Oh no. Oh, she he said something that made her upset. Oh no. Okay, <laughs> Kira has to step in. Yeah, Kira might have to step in sooner or later. Thank you for being here, girls. We made so little money. Yeah. Quick, RB! I tried to, it wouldn't let me. Okay, the girls are leveling up. There's hope for all of them. Not really. Ugh. Oh, the girls are so adorable! So these are my girls. I protect them like crazy. I will be like Majima if anyone hurts them. <laughs> so this is gonna be my assumption for the next like five months. <laughs> 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 oh. Is it the enemy? Hello, enemy. Grabs, grab Survivor. Survivor, I need your helmet. Yeah. Float over to him and hit him in the head. <laughs> how, much, how much blunt trauma can you cause as a helmet? <laughs> a lot. Sir, how do you roll for headbutting damage? <laughs> Oh, it's, it's... Uh, strength damage, I think. Straight strength, unless... Again, dead roller. Exactly. And also, do you have to subtract hit points because you're hurting yourself in the process? Well, remember, the, the, the helm has no, has no head in it. It's just as far as I'm, I'm aware. I don't know. I mean, I forged it, so I doubt there's any skull in there. I think. <laughs> So I would say no. <laughs> Picks it up, no, looks no, under it. Oh, there's a spider living in here. I hope you're okay with that. <laughs> no one near me, I'm fine with it. <laughs> oh, that's what the itching in my brain is. <laughs> we have to do this. See, Kiryu, if you paid attention to Majima and his stories, you would know this. Kanzaki 
bitch. Don't judge this woman, cat. She could be a very nice lady and is only acting for the. Don't be mean. でも、フォーシャインは在籍キャバ嬢の関係で出場資格を満たしてないはず。一体どうして？いや、私も元同僚として、フォーシャインがこのまま潰れるのを黙って見てられなかったんですよ。そこで大会本部に掛け合いまして
I agree. That's my face right now too, honey. <laughs> well, Kiryu, you've got into some nonsense that are so that is so vital and important to me because it is a very big, massive link to my happiness and joy that you're now connected to it. Have fun. E. Let's do how the cabaret club works. Uh, turn the mean manager to the country. Victories determine how much you profit. You rank up. Similar to like zero. Again, like zero. Again, like zero. You're able to make large sums of money. Also, like zero. Yeah. Well, Kiryu, you're in it against your will. But your will. Better enjoy it while it's forced onto you. <laughs> forced into you. Don't take my comment out of context. Taking it. Uh, made up of four leagues, just like before. We will have to start with the fresh league, just like before. We're normal purpose. I'm choosing. Okay. Of course, growing our customer base is the only way we'll increase sales. Of course. If we cast a wired nest, we can partner up with local businesses in the area to keep an eye out for good partners. Just like before. This is so much like zero, and it's just like zero. It's just coming up into like a flood, like a memory for me. So it's like, yeah, I know how to do this. I'm, mar I'm smarter than you. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there are stories you can pay to partner up with you. Partner venues will introduce more customers to the club, allowing an increase to Four Shines fan count even further. Oh, God, I have to. Where's my net? Where's my list? Where's where are my notepads? Notepads. You thought you were retired. Nope. <laughs> Ah, uh, notepads. Oh, uh, you doth thought you were retired. What's the word I'm looking for? No. No. Uh, you, no, I think retired was the word. You are not retired, oh little notepad. You have come back and you will be used again once more. <laughs> Did I just reach over and grab my notepad? <laughs> Uh, since fans mean more customers, your sales will shoot through the roof. Yep, just like before. No problem. Out in the streets a lot, so I'm sure I can see opportunities. And lastly, good morning! A woman. Uh, I'm looking forward to working with you again. Likewise. Am I about to break out the list of all the stores I need to buy to just do this, that, the, that? I think we'll need a bigger roster if we're going to survive this. We need to get women. Survivor, get us some women. Again, you're asking uh, very much the wrong person. Uh, do you want to get the, the women? You want, we need you to go get the women. <laughs> <laughs> go get the women. Uh, let's see, what do the women like? Uh, he like? I have no idea what accent I'm doing. I just heard it once. Somewhere. Women like being treated like normal people. Yeah. There, I've solved your problem. You can also put out a recruitment ads to get more girls for the club by selecting scouting from the menu and paying for an appropriate fee. You can try your hand at recruiting. It's not guaranteed that the girl will immediately join your club. However, so... However, so work that charm and keep on recruiting. Okay, how's your charisma stat? Because Kiryu's is not the best. <laughs> Kiryu's like middling charisma. Middling. And we're talking like lower middle. <laughs> Bye. Sweet. Majima, where what, what are would you, you think is what do you, what, actually quick question? What would you think is uh, Kiro's best stat? And if if you put it in DD terms, um, strength, charisma, wisdom, strength, or intelligence, strength, well, strength. Yes, I'm just saying though, <laughs> mental stat, mental stat. So that's the, the mean, less he, obvious answer. He has street smarts. I know that much, but like normal intelligence is like he has street smarts. Book smarts, on the other hand, is like average. Yeah. So street smart smarts he has because he knows to respect women. That's a that's a street smart. So, de so yes, his def his highest would be wisdom. It's just n not the highest, just high. It's high by enough. It, yeah. Let's let's put it this way: there's strength, there's constitution, there's dexterity, then there's wisdom. <laughs> okay. Constitution has to be like second after strength. Then dexterity, then cur that then wisdom. Then intelligence, and all the way on the bottom, which is basically the dump stat, charisma. I mean, no, he does have some. Okay, fine. Charisma and intelligence can switch. Mm. They're dump stat. He's like yeah, he's, uh, he's like a, he's, not, he's average intelligence. Yeah, he's not like a 
an idiot. He's not like dumb, dumb intelligence. It'd be, just be, uh, he's not dumb himbo. He is, he's smarter than that. If it's things that he's he knows, like he knows a lot about pocket racing, and he knows a lot about like fishing and all that jazz. If it's a subject that he is very passionate about, he oh god, he's fucking ADHD autistic. <laughs> oh my lord! It's like I, is he <laughs> very passionate about something, or just like uh, it's hard to do dishes. <laughs> Hmm? It's easier very passionate or very, uh, I think being social is hard. Yeah. Hard. Except, you know, you can, always, you can always answer with fists if necessary. Kiryu has an intelligence of 12. <laughs> Wait, is that a good thing or a bad thing? That's a good thing. That's it's like... it's not low, it's just not, you can't do much of it. Yeah, he can't it's start a tech like company. Uh. Yeah. Alright. Well, looks like Cabaret Grand Blazer. All right, I guess you better fill me out how this whole thing works. Yeah. Oh, hi. Oh, that's right. Where do yes. I start? Oh, fuck. Ah, Buno Isokazaki. Mm. What the fuck are you? Oh, my God. Survivor, have you ever seen Phantom of the Paradise? No. Then you will not get this reference. <laughs> Oh my god, he does kind of look like the guy- the bad guy in Phantom of the Paradise! <laughs> oh, that hurts. Something I want to Google and find out, or... Oh. Mm. I'm already not sure about this guy. Okay. This man seems sketchy. <laughs> That sketchy isn't like. Uh, he's, he the like... he's the official play by play announcer for the Cabaret Grand Prix. Nobody knows Cabaret Clubs better than him, so he spices the tournament up with commentary. Oh, good! So he's like common. He he's like Ray. He's like a uh, pocket racer fighter, but creepier. <laughs> I had to come see the club for myself. Nothing tells you more about it than your own size, what to live by. Just the precision I expect from the official tournament announcer. My, 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 my. To think that the legendary hostess herself in a club like this. Legendary hostess? Yeah, Yuki was one of the... Yeah, Yuki was one of the best hostesses ever. She was the number one hostess in Santapuri. Thanks to a wonderful man known as Majima. You know, the greatest man. The lord of the night. The king of cabaret. I'm hyping him up too much, aren't I? Corp. Ark, Survivor, I don't care who you are right now. I'm, uh, please tell me I'm <laughs> hyping him up right now. <laughs> a little bit. A tad. She was my whole inspiration for getting into this industry. Oh, you're like a drag mom. But it's not drag queens, it's hostesses. You're a hostess mom. Is that a thing? If it's not, I'm making it a thing. Really? That's incredible, Yuki. Stuff about me. It's all about the, it's all in the past. And, and Majima never got me my vinegar. <laughs> Regular old lady, you would have been like 18 and that was 20. You're only 38! Like 30s, 40s tops. What? This, no, is, th this has nothing I'm to do with me being 30 and hearing the term old lady when it comes to a 30 year old. <laughs> you won't hear an argument from me. Mm. Four different leagues. <gasps> Does anyone minus me think these look like freaking Sailor Moon? These look like things you would find in a magical girl show. They absolutely do. It's like these absolutely. Are, these are the transformation devices of the magical girls. Uh, the... I, I don't have questions. I just have concern. There's a looking concern on my face. Why? It's like uh, because who would design like nothing against magical girl shows like Sailor Moon and whatnot, but who would design trophies like this? It's again for hostess clubs, and hostess are girl-based, and I'm guessing they went for the whole magical girl aesthetic, because, you know, girls love magical girl anime. Like, boys love shonen anime. Right. Listen, we all know that there are girls out there, raises hand, who love shonen anime. My Hero Academia is a shonen anime, it counts. And there are also boys out there, raises one of my friends' hand, who really like magical girl anime, and we're not just talking about freaking, uh... We're not even talking about uh, Puli Puli Madoka Magica, which is one of those more darker magical girl animes. No, 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 he loves Car Cat for Sercora. The executive leave, darling, only the most upper crust clientele who scrutinize everything to the finest service. The dicks. The Millionaire League, dominated by multi-millionaires who run around, run cash like confetti. Oh, we're gonna kick their asses. 
And finally, the Cabaret Grand Prix Final Championship. Each league is home to 100 clubs, and in order to dominate the league, you must aim for the highest sales amongst them. Obviously, she'll be starting with the clubs in the Fresh Leagues. Duh. And what happens when we take the top spot? Uh, should you rise to first place in the league, you earn the right to challenge the league champion. Oh, it's like this. It's again like zero. I'm gonna have to spend six hour streams doing this shit. Yep. That's gonna do me a fellow cane in my mind. What was that? I'm gonna be spending six hours a day for <laughs> streaming doing no, this no, shit. No, no, no. It's, it's just the whole, uh, that whole arc. Alright, go fight him. What, what were they called again? What was their room name from zero? Uh, it's, uh, the... Oh, fuck. I know this. I should Don't know. Don't you have your notebook? <laughs> Isn't your notebook out? Yeah, but my notebook didn't have that part in it. Oh. My notebook had the list of all the places I needed to buy, all the things I needed to do, the outfits I needed to basically make premium outfits for the girls to be the best at their peak. That When I prepare for war, I prepare for war. <laughs> you should see me in D&D. &D. Don't. Uh, let's see. It's some, the five stars? Or something the like five that? stars, yeah. They were the five stars. They were called the five stars. And throughout the whole thing, we were making references to, I was making references to Sailor Moon because I was like, okay, these color schemes are getting a little too accurate. Yeah, but like, I guess that out of the blue before I even go. <laughs> what? I guess that out of the blue, like, is it like five stars or something? No, it's just five stars. All right. Yeah. Because... I don't know how. <coughs> how can I forget? Yeah, because there was Club Mercury and the girl who was in Mercury wore red. There was Club Jupiter. The girl was in green. Club Venus. Girl was in gold. Cl Club Moon, which was in silver. Club. Uh, no, sorry. Club Venus was in gold. Club Mercury was in blue. Club Jupiter was in green. Club Club Mars was in red. Club Moon was in silver. Right. And I kept making Sailor Moon references the whole damn time. Yeah. And that's what started the Sailor Hostess uh, artwork I did, which took me forever to draw. So Kanzi is more, of the, more than the head. That means if we defeat the champion, we take the yes. title light. Correct. And it affords you the right challenge other leagues. I want to follow G's. Logical conclusion. Yeah, yeah, then what? Then the true cabaret crab we... we the, the pre begins and you challenge the grand champion. The grand champion and the current grand champion is. Who is it? The largest club in Kansagi group with the largest sales in the nation. The world renowned Suntemburi Sunshine. Sunshine. That's a club here our women runs. So to beat Kazane group, we need to conquer all four leagues and take down Sunshine. <sighs> it's a long road ahead of us. Wish I could say it would be easier. But we're going to have to buckle up and ride over Sunshine and run them down. Oh, God. That's the right attitude. Yeah, I'll do what I can do. <laughs> you may be small, but you got gumption. I shall see you at the tournament and wish you the best of luck. We're not doing the tournament yet. We're going to basically be like, uh, yeah, Nina. We're going to get our asses kicked as I prepare I for war. <laughs> Survivor, take all the notes. <laughs> um, okay. People are like, Kat, you shouldn't be hard. You shouldn't be metagaming this. I'm not metagaming. I'm being serious. I'm kicking ass. I'm taking names. Guys who are dicks get their asses kicked. Me. This is spite based. Fear me and my ability to be powerful in spite. Four Shine is the Fresh League. That's your department. Girl who looks like she belongs in the movie Lolita, and that's not a good thing. Oh god, she does look like she she is wearing an outfit from Lolita. Oh god. It's not even gothic Lolita, which is cute and adorable. This is just Lolita. Yes, as you wish. <laughs> what, you control these women? What are you? Harem? But your club still cares. And you no tolerance for anyone who disagrees with us. Is that clear? Of course. I have no intentions of losing. Kassan is kind of... Kassan... Oh god, this is like Sailor Moon again! We have the big bad evil guy and he's sending his lieutenants out! Oh god. I mean, it's a Here it's we a, go again. It's a classic trope in anything, but still. No, I know. I know. I, I know. That's why. Kazu-san, you're so scary. Girls, what are you all wearing? <laughs> we, we gotta have to change your outfits. I have Majima's outfits. What? You know, the good ones. Yeah, where's Majima? Majima, <laughs> I need to borrow your snakeskin dress. Oh, you're wearing it right now? Ah, your pants are dirty? Gotcha. Oh, Lord. When you premium hostesses come to my side, I am going to help you dress decently. 
Because that pink frilly thing is doing nothing for you, girl. Neither is that purple thing. How far they can possibly go? Who knows? I'm sure Kana can handle them. The club and Yuki, they've met their end. I think that'd be rather dull, honestly. Oh, that's right. This is, this is the other guy's girls. Mm. Yugi-san. I question this man's taste enough further. Between us, yeah. All right. Hold on. Grabbing my skier. Prepare for war. Yeah, Kuza. I'll pair the war drums. Please play, start playing them. Two. Cabaret outfits. <laughs> Don't want me just getting the Vulcan war drums up. <laughs> Get the good ones. I don't know why I merely go to, uh, not the Ramble. Okay, I don't th like the title of this, which is called Grooming Your Platinums. I'm sitting here going, that's a little creepy, but fine. I just need the outfits to break. Yeah, Omni Alliance. We have to worry about the Omni Alliance. No, we don't. No, we don't. Screw the Omni Alliance. We have more important things to do. That one says just use a spackle. Spackle wins wars. You're right. We do need the spackle. Oh. You buy your new husband's order and modify her look. Sexy, beauty, cute, and funny. If you got a me you'll get a menu of things to buy at home. If you learn how to look to modify, usually the one you can know If you're filling the completion list, only buying different pieces of clothing will count for that list. Buying the same. Here, the diner's the best response. Who cares? Where is that? Why won't you go into detail about the important shit? AKA the g outfits. I'm not. I yes, Majima walks in with a dress. <laughs> he does. He just get, and he just has a, a serious face on. All right, so, let's get down to business. <laughs> um, why are you in a? And this is not. That's not part of business. Business involves defeating these jerks. Listen, this is not part of the um, business shit. It's like, just like do not comment on the dress. But we'll instead comment on how we're going to defeat our enemies. How are we going to defeat our enemies? I'm by making, that. by breaking them. <laughs> Oh, that's even better. I'm going to break them within an inch of their life. Aw, oh, that's so great. Oh, we're going to give these girls makeovers. We're going to make them pretty. Uh, let's see. Club management. Okay, all my girls are feeling really sad. Oh, good. There's only six platinum girls we have to worry about. Ah, uh, did they have to use the shitty music? Hold on. All right. Hmm. Okay. I just have to hear the music for a second. Okay, what shall we go for for this girl? Cute? They're sexy, elegant, cute, and funny. Hmm. I don't like the far right one, which is the Macer dress. The Macer so dress? It looks like the, underwear. The one shirt shoulder looks okay. I don't like it in that color, though. <laughs> yeah. I'm picky. Shut up. Oh, we can change the color. Okay, thank God. Hmm, what color should we go for you? I like purple on you. Alrighty. Yeah, that purple's a good shade. <laughs> we can make her wear bunny ears and demeanor even further. Oh God. No, no, we're not gonna do that. I mean, not one of the other clubs still exists. They're already doing that. Yeah, it's like we're better than that. We're better than this. Uh, oh my god, if this was if it was Disney, I'd you know exact there'd be at least two of the clubs. One would be a mate would be a mate club, but the other one would be a uh 
will be a Kaggle Club. You know it. Don't 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 look at look at me straight in my eye. The the uh, helmet eyes of my helmet. Don't tell me that's when that wouldn't be happening. <coughs> <coughs> oh no! I'm not denying you anything. I'm agreeing with you. There would be a there would be made girls. This is 2006 in this game. Yeah. Aha. Uh, it's not. I don't think they've reached the the level of popularity they are right now. So yeah. Okay. Let's see. Yes, God, I, hate you know, I, hate, I hate to put that curse upon you, but it is a uh, valid. <laughs> what did he say? Sorry, uh, I'm no, currently I reading. Say, I... I'm trying to make over these girls and make them pretty. I... They go, it's a lot easier now. Yeah, right. I'm about to break the universe. Alright, game. You want to be a bitch about it? I'm going to have to do all my research on my own and have to actually learn from doing instead of having a guide in my back pocket just to kick your ass okay fine i see how it is i'll figure this out on my own okay are we gonna go f okay so basically we should just focus on one part that should be considered should we make her f elegant funny sexy or okay so we have sexy elegant cute and funny what should we make her I personally think it would be nice to have an elegant girl on our team. Or cute. She seems more like a cute person, to be perfectly honest. Yuki was a cute person. Yeah, that's a hard, that's a hard split. Because, uh... Hmm. Chat, what do you feel? How do you feel? Listen. No, wait, no. Pong, uh, Pong, you just stepped out. I don't know if Zephron's still here. Well, the thing is, she admits that she was inspired by Yuki. And Yuki, back in my game playthrough, was mainly cute as well as, I think, elegant... Uh, cute as well as funny. If I remember correctly from my playthroughs, I am not going to play my playthroughs just to figure it out. <sighs> All these hairs suck. God, girls, you. Yeah. I don't say we definitely need someone on here, but I, I definitely not. She might be more on the cute side. Yeah, so I'm gonna focus on cute. Hey, look! No, we are not buying the bunny ears. I have standards. I also don't have that much money. <laughs> I'm so glad you live with standards instead of money. <laughs> we could give her these glasses. They, help, they improve your funny as well as your... Ugh, this is hard oh. now. They're like, oh, you can just do all the girls in the original outfits. It'll be perfectly fine. I go, yeah. But I don't want to do that. Eh? I want to make this girl... Oh god, all this shit is expensive. Welcome to Cat has no clue what she's doing. No, you, have, you absolutely have a clue what you're doing. It's just, the options are not a lot. <laughs> well, we're beginner, so it's like... Eh. It's all the, uh... Eh. All the basic ass shit. And there's no real guy there's no real guy that I'm finding right now, which means I'm gonna have to go deep in and be like, fuck all of you. Okay, I have an idea. We're gonna go for elegant and cute for you. That's what the things we're gonna focus for. Or ele This is hard. Bracelets. Cause see, if I dress these girls up as how I would want to dress them in, this is gonna be- <laughs> They'll be goth messes, and we don't want that. Yeah. I don't know what I do for makeup. I am a dumbass. I don't. <gasps> There's black lipstick! It matches the dress. Yeah. Oh, these are contacts. Yeah, I'm waiting for a chat to catch up. Yeah. Yeah, the uh, Curry Costs exist. 
people are gonna be like, Cat, you need to be serious about this. Yeah, I'm setting makeup to whore. Shut up. <laughs> Set makeup to whore. Okay. I made Wednesday Adams. <laughs> I am making Wednesday Adams. I mean, I thought that's honestly not a bad way to go. I like I like Wednesday. We all like Wednesday. Yeah. I don't know if it was the movie or if it was the original. Maybe like, like here I just. Well, if you've seen the movie, you know why I'm making that comment. Mm-hmm. I'm not judging you. I know. No, I know they're two. I know it's two separate actors, but I think the thing that the very like the movie was uh, yeah, they, they sent Wednesday to one of those summer camps. Oh uh, yes, and she, the, and she destroyed the summer camp. Oh, what's the greatest part of the fucking movie? I know exactly what you're talking about. Uh... Yeah, that the rest of it is kind of a blur. That scene, how that a whole. Oh yeah, the whole scene, favorite. basically making fun, being like you destroyed our homeland. Da 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 da. And we're here to take your fucking hair. Yeah, I mean that. There's that of the fact that, uh, like, just how the rest of the summer camp is is just, it's very. The rest of the summer camp is very cringy. Go, please destroy these people. I please. hate them. I don't like them. How is that sexy compared to? I don't understand how. I don't understand women. <laughs> In... Aha! I know what I'm doing now. I figured it out. You know, I would, I would feel bad that how much we're spending on just uh, on a girl. But remember, we're making money after this. That and also, also point out like we, we've all sat through character creation. We can do this. We can, we can do this. We can do this. <laughs> we can do this. <laughs> We are only done for now because I need more money. Uh, let's see. We need to do scouting. Did we get any girls? We got one. Love. Her name is Love. Oh. Oh, yeah. That's great. That's great. That's, uh... It's great. Okay. I mean, uh, some of these are making me cringe very, very bad. Kiryu, change into your normal outfit. We're gonna go and do something stupid, aka figure out a way to sell a bunch of silver plates. Ugh. Cat, next door is the mission. Yeah, well... Oh, I can partner with these guys. Hmm. We'll gain 40 fans from that. Hey. Yeah. Now people are going to be like, oh god, she's going to focus on this now and be, be freaking doing this from now on. Yep. Oh. Not from now on, just for now. <laughs> oh, goody! There's a list of every place I need to go. I'll just, I'll just stick to the ones that are currently in the league, and then go from there. Yeah. Let's see. Sushi. Yeah, don't, don't let me stop you. Have full fun with this. Delivery. Jinsuki. Only problem is it doesn't tell me how much each place costs. That's the one problem I have. Which I need to know the money for. Uh, cabaret club. Makeover guide. Oh, this is the Steam guide. Thank you, Steam. Um, let's see. Property guide. Hammer that. Hammer that. Hammer.
Have a good night, uh, Zephron. Oh yeah, have a good night. Sorry, I'm breeding now. Help! No problem, that's it. We're preparing for war. War and must be prepared! Power. Oh my god, it actually gives you guides on how to do that. Uh, fever, that, life skills, hostess with the mostess. Aha! So. Hostess guides, that's great, that's great, that's great, that's great, that's great. Now just give me the fucking property! Oh, there's a hostess known as... Oh. Oh, that's DLC. Oh, that's nice. I hope I don't have that. Oh, joy. Oh, joy. DLC. Oh, the DLC is hilarious, actually. Oh. oh. Now you freak my interest. Girls with oranges for heads. What? <laughs> ah, makeovers! Thank you! I need the triple S makeovers! Oh, mwah, mwah, mwah. I still need money, but still. So he's saying we need to go beat up some people. Yeah, we're going to have to do some beating up, some collecting, some murder, some, a lot of shit. That or I could just go on my own and do it my own way, but I'm like, but then it doesn't make the pain hurt. <laughs> Dating, where's the property? Properties! Properties! Properties, God, this is... This is fucking... This is extensive. E. There's a... There's a side mission called the Panty Thief. What? Mm. Not in this day and age. Look, t t joke is tired and all. Let, let him tire. Please. A lot of these are like... Oh, a lot of these things are involved like reaching certain chapters later in the game, so it's like, you can't just focus on it all in once in one chapter. <laughs> you say that. Uh -huh, da -da 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 oh, I've been passing the partner league stuff. Eh, I'm just gonna beat a bunch- I'm, just, I'm gonna semi-wing this. I'm gonna semi-wing this. Semi, not full-on. Lee... My Oka Eatery Hotel Balloon Kono's Meats Sacharin Bar. I am, with my luck, I'm gonna basically do research and make myself a freaking guide for myself and be like, so what did she do for the whole week instead of actual work? Prepared for war. What do you mean prepared for war? Prepared for war. Prepared for war. No. As you do. You know, like you do. What kind of war are you talking about? Like D&D &D war? No. Hostess club war. Moon River Bar. Moon River. Aero Sushi. Alright. I'm about to hurt everyone, aren't I? Yeah. Ah. Okay. Am I also basically having a way so to get these people to up their freaking, uh, up the freaking experience to make it even better for me? Oh, uh, yes. Indeed. So we're clear, are we 100% in the game or just this part? Def or just doing this part because we can? Well, we're doing this part because we can, and also because it makes me happy. Me. No, just, just click, just, uh, just asking, Ellen, because uh, I was wondering, does, is there any other benefits to the host's club for the rest of the game? Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I guess you get to find out. I don't know. I didn't read on in that department. But that's a spoiler. I want to learn that on my own. I don't know if it's like Zero, where basically I get to learn a really badass fighting style. That would be cool if you did. Or at least got, if there was some, some different uh, future benefits. 
this made the rest of the game easier. There most likely is. It gives you a shit ton of XP and money, so... Yeah, I, I think they've, um... All the side, side missions and games do actually give benefits. Yeah. Excuse me, madam, I have to buy this place. Hey look, Okada Eatery, already bought. Hey, boop. The problem is, it doesn't do, like, section offs like in, um... In Yakuza 0, they would section off, this is this area for Club Moon, this is the area for Club that, that, that. I wish it did. It doesn't. It's okay. I'll live. Da -da 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 -da. Sushi delivery jet. Kintsuki! Whoop! Also, there's a very important thing about this. We're making money. Do you not like money? Do you, we not that's, live in a capitalist society? That's true. Just, yeah, that, that's true. <laughs> this game is a capital is set in a capitalistic society. We kind of need the money. Most or games are. But yeah, okay, that's fair. I, I think, yeah, this does make a lot of money. This makes, like, a shit ton of money. Like, I don't know how much money the construction stuff gives, but if that also makes a ton of money, that'd be great. Yeah, by the way, don't let, don't let me stop you from having fun. Oh, I'm no. just curious, because I've never played a Yakuza yeah. game. I've only seen people play it. Okay, let's see. The golden plate. The two bronze plates. Will you live? Oh. You... If it isn't money, it's points or experience. Yes! Yes! True, Ark, Mister. You're pointing out the society. Mm. It's Ark. Hey, uh, Ark, I'm doing D&D. No, Ark Core is doing D&D. Ark is doing. That's I don't like, know. Okay. You'll learn. Eventually, I'll be able to tell these people apart. I don't know when. I don't know. My mom. It's can. not. And by the way, Ark, it's not. It's not a dig against anybody. I just very forgetful of people, people's names. All right, we are number. T I apologize. I'm sorry. They call one what, the the number one place in the Fresh League is called Hiroshima Sweet Goddess. Maybe there's a con connotation with Hiroshima that doesn't involve the two giant bombs that landed on it. Well, the one the giant bomb that landed on it. Yeah, that seems a little, eh, bad taste. <laughs> so. Oh, uh, yes. He is excited for the seventh, for that is Warhammer, for he is what we call NERD! Yeah. We're all nerds here. Nah, we all float down here. Eh. <laughs> Alright. So. Okay, so here's the plan, girls. Look pretty. Yes, then keep up the great work. Can't really keep up the great work, darling, if we're limited on what we can do. Oh, great. Tan Popo has joined. Oh, oh lord, we have so much work to do. We have a long way to go. Okay. Let me have a secure soccer and cherry. Cherry? That's the name of a stripper. Mm-hmm. All right, girls, time to just get some level ups. Time to also make a little bit of money. We don't fucking make money, girls. We're fudged. Well, we all got bills to pay, and right now we need to uh, bring some terrible men of their terrible of their uh, their terrible business. How do we do the fight? How do we do the, uh... 
Crew hostess. Prepare to open. Before an insurance question, to close the ranking match. Don't want to do a ranking match. Well, do I have to do a ranking match? Oh, I have to do a ranking match. All right. So ranking right. match basically means, you know, Eat that's the opening the store. We'll get some. Yep. All right, girls. Smiling faces. Be happy. Chins up. Face out. Shoulders back. Think murder. Have fun with the cute girl with the pigtails. Don't think about it. I can't make over any girl that isn't a platinum. Trust me, if I could, I would. Wow. We're making so much money. It's the opening part, but don't worry, we'll get more money. No, it's not only that. It's the... Well, these are all, this is all, you know, we are new. We are bottom of the barrel. We are, we are, we are foam. We are, there's whale poo and then there's us, okay? <laughs> yeah, I'll say to go with a, uh, you're coming at the bottom of the league to go with a sports metaphor. Yeah, the guest glass wishes to be refilled. Yeah, no, nobody bets in the bottom of the league, so. We have, yeah. to, we have to prove ourselves, apparently. We, we are just a small town girl living in a lonely world. Or you can, or you can even go so far as to say, uh, you can go so far as to say that we are, this is Kirio's first time. Kirio. This is technically a second time. See, if Majima was here, he would know, well, second time he's done it today. <laughs> Comes out our premium girl, who looks like Wednesday Adams because I have a goth thing going for here. You grew up in the 90s, who doesn't have a goth thing? I don't think this is true, this is true. Don't worry, we'll be able to do fever time sooner or later. I'm always going to make a joke going, this is the calm before the storm. And a towel for her, she wants to wring his neck with it, gotcha. Oh look, a new customer. Because remember, it gets manic when you start really getting in on it. Oh, none of these- yeah. Oh, I'm aware. None I'm of these aware. Girls, none of these girls make him happy. Madam, I know you don't want to do this, but you, we have to do this, okay? Don't worry, I have a guaranteed way to make him like you. Towel to ring his neck. Gotcha. <laughs> well, what do you call it? What? It's a towel. We're wringing his neck with it. What do, what do you do with towels? <laughs> Sunshine no. Fever! No, I'm just... I, I have no... <laughs> You know, that's fair. Yeah, the guy that I found gets really into the meta to tell you what does each position mean, and I'm like, uh... Gracious send-off! Does none of these girls make you happy? Ugh. He wants a sexy girl, but he wants a girl a sexy girl with skill. <laughs> Shut up, Mr. Taki in my head. <laughs> Give the girl a reward, she deserves it. I mean, I... You just no. sit here and be adorable. That's yeah, your job. Yeah, it's like I got. You got no comment. Other than yeah, other than uh, maybe some ideas about about uh, style and fashion, which I, I'm not terrible at it. I just I have. Yeah, the problem is because the outfit, the outfits also are like okay, rank is involved. And I go, what do you mean rank? Well, you know the S rank and all that jazz. And I'm like, okay. Okay, girls, you talk. Come on. Keep talking. And nobody explodes. Keep talking, nobody explodes. It's the, it's the best game I have no one to play with. 
same here. Well, I don't even own the game. I'll be having to read the PDF when I'm sitting here going like, oh god, you want me to read shit? I, I, own, I do own a copy. Uh, here's a gift. Leave me alone. Dude, you only spoke 20,000 yen, you cheapskate bastard. Jesus. Come on. What did you do, drink water all day? Says me, who does drink water. At least I tip. Yeah. We made so much. Wow, we're rank five now. Wow, this would have been this is a lot easier than I expected. Just out of curiosity, what was the lowest rank we can come in at? Mm. Well, we're we're at the bottom of the bit. We remember when I said there's whale pool and then there's us. We yeah. were wh we were under whale pool. We are now above whale whale pool. The Omni Alliance is having a war of succession. We're kind of in the middle. We have to head back. No, 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 we don't. I hear you. No, we don't. You want to know why we don't? Because we are basically doing cabaret because it makes me happy. Yeah, we don't need to worry about all that. Listen, we have nothing to worry about. Okay, let's see. Yeah, we're not qualified for championship. We have to basically be number two. So we have to basically be number two under... Sorry, we have to be number one and beat Shamami Hot Potato. I don't want to think about that. Um, yep. Okay, so two girls are going to be absent. Let's see if I can add some makeover to this one girl. Come on, I gotta be something I can add. Ugh. This is the other issue. It's like we are currently ra low ranked on money, so it's like we can't do up. We can't do shit. Look how horrible we are. Look how horrible we are. It's all right. We'll get there. It's just gonna take hard work, effort, and um, lots and lots of punching people. And lots and lots of money. Okay. Okay. We gotta make money somehow. Kiryu, you take your top off. What? You're a hostess now, Kiryu. you. <laughs> I didn't agree to this. You're a hostess now, Kiryu! Be pretty! Majima can do this in a heartbeat, why can't you? <laughs> Majima has the legs for it. So right now, I'm just walking around the town to see if there's any places I can make partnership with, and basically hopefully maybe get some more fans out that way yeah we're just, cru we're just cruising around town oh look the nouveau riche i can beat the crap out of him yeah. oh how nouveau riche are just like or just like you beat him up just like thugs <laughs> well, i don't know <laughs> they're rich they think they can do whatever they want let's punch them listen i got 50 that guy looked like guy fieri and gave me 50 50 k yen <laughs> Preparing for war. War is hell. War is always hell. But it's okay, because we come prepared. We've already told you, war and hell are two totally different things. Hell only has bad people, war has the innocents. Da 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 da. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Actually, that's, that's a fair point. <laughs> Starts. Uh, mash intensifies. There's a random gold plate on the floor. Yes, because I just la randomly leave my solid gold plates on the floor. Look a bunch of thugs to help me prepare for war. Oh, 
Also true. That also true. Court. Uh, yeah, arc. Oh, arc. Yeah. One I can day. read. <laughs> I can read one of these days. Arc. Yes, you're right. Hell is our evil. We're doing better in the Fresh League. We're ranking up in the world. We're gonna take over the world by storm. And beat people up with this baseball bat I found. I don't know what. Of course. What was the point? It's okay, I'm just gonna do this. I might actually end the stream as well because it's like I'm getting tired and I have to prepare for war! Yep. We must prepare for war. Again? Yep. Come on, put on pants. Put on your right, war you... pants. Yep. But yeah, you have a good you have a good night, okay, cat? Alright, I promise I won't lose myself in this game too hard. Hey, yeah, get some rest and I'll I check in later and you're not getting rest, I will say things. No. Anywho, have a nice night, okay, cat? Have, have a nice, nice night, night, chat. Have a nice night, chat. And and have a fizzles. Yes, happy fizzles. Anyway, uh, let me just save the game. All right, gonna send you guys off to someone. Give me a second. Wearing my glasses and wearing these headphones at the same time are a dick. Sega. Okay, let me just send you guys off to someone. Mm -hmm. 